So sometimes if you see me down here, I come down here and I'd be over there at that part. But it rained last night, so the water level is a lot higher than it normally is. And I've seen it higher than this actually, but it rained, so the water's level high. Um, I mean, technically I could still just get over there, but usually where the water ends right there, I'm usually at that neck, that, that part, the part where the water is just covering right there, like literally right here, is usually where I'm standing. Um, so I'm not about to stand over there in the sand or whatnot. I'm just gonna go Let's get the pole going. Let's uh, go on and get it back up. Uh. Now, the only other part about, again, the rainy days makes you appreciate those sunny, hot, warm days. Um, so things I just, I'm still happy about. So even though it's wet and muddy, it's not cold, bro. That, that, like, that'd be the one thing. Rain is one thing, but when it's windy and rainy and cold, it's windy, cold, and rainy, that's a triple combination. You ain't trying to be in there. But if it's, just, if it's just rainy or if it's just wet, you know what I'm saying, the temperature feels nice, then it should be accountable. Then things are okay. See how uh, this chair is, and then um, yeah, bro, we're gonna do a slight little read again, just cause it's bothering me. You know what I'm saying? I haven't done one. Now I'll do it like once a month now. Usually I was usually I was doing like a a daily read. Now it's like a monster drink. <laughs> So, oh shoot, I, boy, you sat down in it, you know it's gonna be wet. I don't know why. You don't, I don't see no real water or nothing like that, but I got a wet spot in my pants, man. Dang, bro. So, I'm gonna do that. Let's get set up. Today's date is April 9th, the day after the eclipse. Excuse me, we was watching the eclipse train, man. I forgot to zoom in. It probably would have looked better. I was downplaying it, making it sound like it was whack and this other thing. Um, due to the wind, but it was like when I watched other people's videos, they was they zoomed in, and I mean of course I should have zoomed in. 
I should have just put it. Oh, but I did. Okay, so. Um, this has been bothering me too good since I haven't done one in a long time. And this joint is what? This joint is what? So. Baby, I'm here laughing like a cow, licking grass. Just licking grass. Bailey, you a cow? Say moo. <laughs> right. So, let me try to get this read done. And I just want to like, is it, because it has such a like, there's people who have such like a negative connotation about it and towards it, who are going to just keep coming at you about it, it's like, you know, that's, a, that's partially the reason I just stopped doing it, because it's like, yo, like, y'all don't get tired of complaining about other people, what other people are doing, and it's not even affecting you. What other people are doing are not affecting your life, and you just steady complaining about it, and you just don't want them to do something. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to exert control over somebody else. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it just gets annoying. You just get, you get tired of uh, hearing people complain like, all right, bro. Like, but I think I did one, but I remember I had stopped doing it after the car got repossessed, of course. Um, and then I think I did one like last month for the same reason just because i was bored and it was just like on my mind like just because like just go ahead and get it done so we're just gonna get that done we're just gonna get that done and then we're just gonna chill i want to edit some new visuals i got a new playlist got a new playlist yeah but i don't wanna um but this joint is wet i ain't trying to mess up my stuff so we're just gonna do it one by one one by one so I gotta see if I can still remember it, but no, nah, I want nothing to really remember for real. But it's the love that, it's the love that. And you know with this one, it's a, uh, how do I say? With this one, it's a, uh, it got questions. So I kind of like, just like to respond and read to the questions, it's just reflective. So, the first one is supposed to be the energy you're supposed to let go of. The second one, the energy to keep. And then the last one is the energy uh, that needs to be learned. So first one, energy that needs to be let go of. It's 15, the companion. 15, the companion. And so uh, usually one plus five is six. And that talks about house and home, stability. But with the, this is being the energy that needs to be let go of right now, kind of just understand that you're on a solo journey. You know what I'm saying? That a part, like, you gotta, you gotta be comfortable being by yourself. Because if you're not comfortable by yourself, you're not gonna be comfortable with somebody else. You still will be uncomfortable when they come around you. You just hide in that insecurity that you have. This, 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 this false sense of independence and security. If you feel like that you always need somebody, that you always gotta be in a relationship body, like you don't you don't know how to be single, you don't, then you don't know how to be by yourself, you don't know who you are, you don't know what makes you happy. So energy that needs to be let go of is the companion, just embracing that solitude. The next one is the energy that needs to be uh, energy that needs to be how do I say what that fail. We'll take that. It's the energy that needs to be kept. And it's the scientist. Scientist is number 11. One plus one is two. Uh, but the 11 is the the mass number. You don't break that down. Um, but the scientist is about continuing to experiment and trying it out. You know what I'm saying? You don't know until you try. So it's just about seeing what works and seeing what doesn't work. You don't know if it doesn't work until you try. And you don't know if it does work until you try it. So but it's about experimentation. And it's just ask the question. And that's what science is about. You ask the question, you pose a hypothesis, and you have a 
you do some test trials, you do some test runs, you got the you got your control group, you got your uh, experiment group, and you analyze the results. You analyze the results. So like yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I was yesterday was a really good day, man. Yesterday was a really good day. So because I kind of you know what I'm saying, the path I've been on and the things I've been doing and stuff like that, I was able to study, so I kind of knew, I was like, well, um, if I look at past evidence, then I know if I go here at this time, do that, boom, it was like, I made it, I made things go a certain way. Because of my past experience, I just used that, I had tested out. I said, well, if it doesn't happen, if my hypothesis is wrong, then I won't be able to get it, but I was able to get the cigar. Um, and then there was other things I just kind of knew, and I was like, all right, let's shoot. If I'm, if I'm gonna at least do, um, if for, I kind of knew my book was coming, so I'm like, yo, best case scenario, how do I want this journey to go? And if I wanted to do this cigar talk about me, I needed some, some drink and a snack. So I got the energy drink, got the uh, gummy worms, I had the cigars, and it was a good day. We had a, we had a episode of cigar talk uh, for the greatest rapper, and then I did the unboxing. I did it at night. I just like there was no point in waiting. I was going to wait until today, but I was like, forget it. There's, I don't want to wait. I just want to, when I go to sleep tonight, I want to go to sleep saying I did everything I possibly knew I could do. Uh, so yesterday was a really good day. And parts of it was using my past experience and then just seeing what happens. Uh, so last one is um, energy that needs to be learned. And it's 24, the lover. So here's another six. Two plus four is six, and it's the lover. Um, I'm not sure what the question is behind this one, so uh, look, we got 15. I'm going to read the question from the first two, and then I'll read the last one. 15, 11, and 24. So the question, the question for number uh, 15, what are my most important partnerships, and how did they form? And so I can say, like, right now, um, the people that I'm staying with, it was, I was at the park, I'm homeless, I'm at the park, and this day I got invited to three cookouts. And so the first cookout was at the birthday party, the second cookout was at the church, and the third cookout was um, this other lady who goes right, right across, because they went to use the same pavilion. And I then stayed at the church, and then just, it just, it was so crazy, but because I went to church the next day, um, I ate food with them, and I went to church the next day, and then just to see where we're at now is just like, and, and, and I have to say thank you. I'm so blessed to be in a situation in this position because it's just like, I'm, I'm literally in a time, I, I used to ask myself, it was two things that kind of like, it was scary. So I used to be, because I'm an artist, I used to be such of a perfectionist. I wanted everything perfect, everything great, everything like third. But then when I started seeing other people who do abstract art, I was like, yo, what's my mind i want to see what my mind is going to be like when i open it up and i just get out of this whole i need my line to be like this and to be at this angle i need the right color i need to send a third room boom, boom and it really embraced the abstract art where it's like forget the lines yeah the line is here we're going to smear the line instead of the blue we're going to make it red we're going to just invert the colors and do whatever we want to do it's still going to be you know what i'm saying i remember i saw a dude at the uh i was trying to do i was about to spray paint my jeep and i was like can i use this color for like the turtle shell at the top of the jeep he was like, no, you never seen a, a turtle this color. I said, yeah, but you probably never seen a pink apple. But if I take a pink piece of paper and draw an apple on it, now you see a pink apple. It's just like, it's the shape of it. It still has the same thing, the same figure. So um, I'm just happy and grateful for that. So it's part of that. And then just embracing a lifestyle. Because um, I say, you know, if I was struggling to make ends meet, living paycheck to paycheck as a teacher, not being as fulfilled and happy as I want to be, then I can struggle and make ends meet and just be an artist there, you know what I'm saying? Do something I love to do. And so I'm just grateful and fortunate that I'm in this position that, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to there, now there are still just a couple other things like, since I don't have a stable income, then that, that, but the, even then, right? Since there's, there's, since there's this, since there's no stable income, I'm always forced to be in a position of creation. How do I create? How do I still attract? How do I still do if if I don't, and, and, and I'm trying to be 
careful how I'm phrasing my things, but it's just like, just for conversation purposes, if I don't have the money, how do I still create the vision that I have in my head? And that's what the past, the past eight months have been for me. The past eight months have been, how do I still go out here and do it? How do I still create the vision that I have without the money, you know what I'm saying? And, and I think a lot of people, I think that's the part that people are scared of. They're like, I don't want to do it if I don't have the money. Exactly. And stay right there and make it happen without the money. You're going to, you're going to be so resourceful. You're going to be so creative. You're going to start tapping into so many different resources just because that one right there is not available. So it's like, okay, well, if this door is not open, they say build another door. And I'm like, well, how am I going to build a door if I don't have the wood? It's like, you, you're going to start asking yourself so many other questions, but it's going to open up to say, you know what? I can still make this happen without the money. And that puts your brain and your mindset in such a creative space, man. It puts you in such a creative space. How do you still make it happen? Uh, so that was 15. Number 11. What can you experiment with to make things better in your life? And so... For me, a lot of my experimentation has kind of like just been with the YouTube, you know what I'm saying? So when you go to transition from, because I at first I had got down to the point where it's like, bro, I only got one social media. I was only just doing the Instagram, bro. But then when you see like Instagram, is like how weird it is, you know what I'm saying? Like they, a lot of people complain about it, but they're saying like now it's like, you see a lot of people's pages, they only got one. They got no pictures or one or two pictures trying to be mysterious, but you're not mysterious, bitch. You just fake as fuck. And they try to hide, they try to hide a whole bunch of shit and they just watch everybody else shit and try to just, it's like a real stalkerish. Um, so, but you see, so you see that, right? And then it's like, well, what other platform could you really have it, you know what I'm saying, tap into? And I think, I think just low key, because the, the things that you got to give Instagram credit for, thank you for voting, thank you for engagement. I don't want to call The things you got to like, pay attention to is like on Instagram you gotta give Instagram credit. Instagram has changed from the time that it was uh, put out into the world until what it is now. Instagram is not the same as it was when it first was released and you have to give credit for how much it has changed and so Instagram it was just pictures but it saw that people like videos so Instagram it has started having, and then it incorporated videos and then now you see Instagram even has you can people can have your own broadcast channel. You can have your own like radio channel that people gotta subscribe to. Um and but you see it has the reels. Why do they have the reels? Reels is Instagram's response to TikTok. And um and so but it also has uh the stories, the stories that disappear after twenty four hours. That's Instagram's response to Snapchat. And so Instagram is almost like, you know how they ask you what superpower would you have? There is this show, it was, it's called Heroes. I don't know if people really remember this show. This show is called Heroes. And the, you want to talk about superpowers? This dude, his superpower was he could steal other people's superpower. So uh, he would meet people, he would meet the other heroes and he would steal their superpower. And that's Instagram was kind of doing. Instagram saw Snapchat and said, oh, y'all like disappearing stuff? Y'all like disappearing stories and stuff third? We got Instagram stories. Uh, y'all like videos? Then we got reels and stuff. And so uh, the other, the now an OG is like, now this, this is one of the things that people are like sleeping on YouTube about, but it's an OG in the game as far as social media. Now, YouTube, low key, it, YouTube is social media, and it, it's just, but it's so subtle and it's so low key, but YouTube has adapted as well. And, the, and now, what, you know, one thing that YouTube has that Instagram doesn't have, you can't post statuses. You can, you know what I'm saying? You can post statuses, um, and you can post polls and all on your status, and this and that, boom, boom, you can do that on your community tab. Um, YouTube's response to, the Instagram reels and the TikTok uh, videos, you got YouTube shorts. And YouTube has always been going, um, has always had the long form content. So YouTube has, basically YouTube has Facebook statuses, 
YouTube has shorts, which are the Instagram reels and the TikTok videos, and YouTube has long form content. And you can start your own podcast, which I've done. I have right here, Tim Jutra Class Chat Show. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Tim Jutra Class Chat Show. I'm your chief, Jahar. We're going to come down and send a spiritual band. It's because we take our breaks from the house for the rest of our three hours. You have your own podcast on YouTube. Um, and I'm trying, I've done turn my whole YouTube until it's like, well, yeah, I got, you got your all, you got all your playlists, you got all your videos, you got all this content, you got to sort it out. Oh, look at these red birds. Look at these red birds. Let's see if I can show you these red birds. There's one. And where's the other one at? This. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Oh, there. Yeah. Red birds. Got two red birds. One right here. Bailey, go chase the bird. Here. Dang. Poke is back up. Okay. We want you to see the birds. There was one bird and the other bird. I think we just kind of flew to. And this is my uh, this is my best friend Bailey. Bailey has her own playlist. It's called Daily Bailey Adventures. And as you see, you won't see her in the video bringing me sticks and balls or whatever else she finds in the woods. Um, but I think it's so low key how YouTube has you know just suddenly low key. And you the thing that you kind of like love about YouTube. Is that it? Don't there now? The only thing that you can complain about YouTube with for real is the ads. The ads are ridiculous, and because the ads be so random, and it'd be like it'd be these. I don't know if anybody else has seen these ads. There's this ad talking about yo, if you haven't collected your six thousand dollars from the government, you're losing out. I'm like yo, please stop showing me this ad. And then there's these ads where it's like a fake voiceover of like. Joe Rogan, Steve Harvey, or uh, Barack Obama, Joe Biden. I'm like, yo, this is not their voice. Who are doing these voiceovers? Those are the worst ads ever, bro. And it's like, who is falling for this, you know what I'm saying, these scams? I don't know who put these scams up here, but those ads suck. I would I would even be okay if, if YouTube wants to show ads or whatever, I would be okay if you at least just show commercials. Yes, the ads are commercials. Show first of all, you can put my my uh, YouTube shirts as uh, commercials for, but I would at least be okay if the commercials or the YouTube ads were like generic brands. Like I want to see a Doritos. Show me, show me Doritos. YouTube can show me a Doritos ad. I'm not going to complain. Show me a Taco Bell ad. Show me. <laughs> Everybody loves food, right? So you, if YouTube just shows me Taco Bell uh, commercials or show me like some Zara commercials or some, I don't know, show me Zara, show me Lamborghini commercials, show me Tesla commercials. I'm, 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 I got, this, this is what I wanna see. The ads that I, and then I will actually watch the ad. If you want me to sit here and watch an ad, show me an ad on Tesla, I'll watch the Tesla commercial. I'll watch a Lamborghini commercial. I'll watch a Jeep Wrangler commercial. I'll watch um, Taco Bell commercials, Dorito commercials, because they're funny. And just show me some funny commercials or just or show me some sh stuff that I really care about. Like if, you, if it's going to be fashion or music or, you know what I'm saying? Show me commercials based on like some funny stuff or show me some, some hip hop, rap music, what's going on in the industry or something. Keep me informed that way. I don't care about the world news. I don't care about no war over here. I don't care about no war over there. I don't care about war anywhere. <laughs> I don't care. I don't want them here. I don't want them there. I show me some ads as regular basic stuff. You gonna show? You gonna show me a cleaning commercial? Show me Mr. Clean. That's my guy, the ball guy. Show me Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean commercials are good. Don't show me no Johnson Johnson. Johnson Johnson had to uh, rock with Johnson Johnson no more. Uh, but show me some different type of ads, bro. Uh, but what can you experiment to make things better in your life? And so that, that's for me, like I'm experimenting. So uh, my point in going and saying all this was um, just to 
you then make your social media like a digital archive or like that's the thing about people with, like when they come out on social media it's like yo like they show a certain parts of themselves and so i've just really took this journey really just showing so many different parts of myself and really i've experimented with my like, creation content creating on youtube youtube really made me want to um experiment with content creation uh the other other channels really didn't because you kind of see like it favors just certain stuff like fashion nova or the shade room justin the boy like it's just perfect certain stuff and like you like all right bro like the my oh so one of my biggest things so i just made a real call male super supermodel fashion i need to change it to male super supermodel fashion designer but male supermodel so one of the things I was annoyed about, if you look at any of the like instant in fashion over influencers or any type of like influencers, whatever, like their videos suck, bro. Like their videos are bland. Anybody who does fashion um, videos or anything like that, oh, here's my fashion overhaul. Here's this haul. Here's my thrift haul. First of all, I don't want to see your whatever clothes you got from the thrift store. Like that's why. And then you at least need to put some fire stuff on, bro. Like, and people like even if they had a fire stuff, bro. They don't be putting no dope outfit on. I don't like their visuals. It's all the same as all generic. Like they just throw it on and it's just it's just whack, bro. It's just whack. So I was like, yo, if I really start trying, and that's what I've been doing, trying. Like, if I really start trying, I could really like all my visuals, even my worst visuals better than you know what I'm saying? Like the cigar talk visuals, bro, is way better than any little fashion over influencer. I be saying that stuff, bro. I'm like, yo, this stuff is whack, bro. Like all of their reels look the same. You see a bag, then they do change shirt, do change shirt. They do a little spin. Around. I'm like, oh, bro, it's whack. It's just whack. And they be in, they be in their room in front of a mirror. I'm like, yo, y'all stuff is whack. I be anywhere, everywhere making music videos. All right. And then the last one was, uh, what number was that? 2024. It was the lover. Now this one says. I think I read this one before. What do you love about yourself and how can you express this? I just answered that question. My creativity, I'm expressing that through my content creation. Um, so that's this one. That's this one. I'm expressing my creativity in every way possible and imaginable. Okay. No. I used to love these oracles, bro. I get the oracles out the bro. Um, Cause I still be thinking about these things, low key in my head. Like even when I listen to other people's videos and whatnot, I'm like yo, what, like, what's going on? What's this? What's that? I'm like, oh yeah, like I be, I can just picture them in my head now, bro. I can just picture them in my head. But one of the like one of the things that really got me was the last one I like that one in February I did. I think I, I think I put it on private because it was so like I was like, yeah, here's the here's the tower. And you know, yeah. I was like, here comes the tower. And then I was like, here, it's a king of swords and a king of this. But it's like, I I see how that joint resonated, bro. I see how that joint resonated. But these jokes was always cool to me. So um, I'm gonna just do three of these, you know what I'm saying? And because the first, the outer six are, you know, um, what's that thing called? External influences and factors. But I kind of just want to, you know what I'm saying? Let me do the three, bro. Let me do the three. So, how do I want to kick it? Oh, just the three. And it's like, what energy should we embrace in the body as we move throughout the day? First one, of course, is the magician. And so the magician has lived many lives. And if you ask him about which one was the best one, like it's in the third, he, you don't know which one he's going to tell you, which one he's going to talk about. And one of the crazy things, I said this young the other day. I said, what if you were royalty in a past life and then you incarnate as a black person in this lifetime? I was like, yo, just think about that. If you were royalty in a past life and then you reincarnate as a black person in this lifetime, boy, you'd be messed up mentally. You'd be like, yo, I'm supposed to be running shit out here. Like your, the, your mentality would, would be like, yo, I have a king mentality. I'm supposed to be running everything, but you're a, black, you're a poor black person. So that don't be the that would don't be the words, bro. That don't be the words. Um, but you got the magician. Um, but it's also seeing beyond the veil. What, what do we have yesterday? Yesterday we had the eclipse. 
and I was looking at the eclipse and I was like, yo, what does this eclipse look like? And you know how hard that would be to describe this person? The sun looks like the moon. That's what the eclipse was. Um, now we got the fatalis. Fatalis is, see, I had to video up on it again, but this down arrow, that up arrow, red means stop, green means go. These are your emotions. And regardless of the emotions, and she can't see what's in front of her, even though you got the little people, these are the outsiders. These people that think they can do whatever and try to stop you. But even though she can't see what's going on for her, she has trust in herself and control of her emotions to take one step at a time and keep going. I don't know what's going to happen for the day. I don't know what's going to happen. But we just keep on going. We stay. What did they say? One thing about life, three words. It keeps going. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. All right, the last one here. The green man. What, what you hear everybody say now? Touch grass. Get grounded. Touch grass. Get grounded. That's what everybody say right now, right? Everybody be like, yo, you, you need to touch grass. You're delusional. <laughs> Now, one of the things, name an actor for an edit. Facts, bro. Um, I did Denzel already. Do the boy do Scarface. Do Scarface. Say hello to my little friend. Scarface said, you're all a bunch of fucking assholes. You want to know why? Because you don't have the guts to be who you want to be. See me? You are, All you know how to do is how to hide. How to lie. See me? I don't have that problem. Me? I always tell the truth. Even when I lie. So say goodnight to the bad guy. Denzel come back and say, You wanna do this shit to me? You wanna do this shit to me? You niggas be playing basketball in Pelican Bay when I get through with you. Shoot program, nigga. 23 hour lockdown. Who the fuck you think you fucking with? <laughs> I'm the police. I'm the ran I'm the man around this piece. He said, go on, walk. He's like, cause I'm gonna burn this motherfucker down. Bailey, what oh my god, bro. Like every once in a while, you gotta just throw the stick, bro. Okay, the only thing I've done. Let me get this out of my lap. The only thing I've done, let me get this out of my lap. And then, so after this, I'm gonna move. So let me just recap real quick. From the lovers, it was, I mean, not from the lovers, well, from the love deck. <laughs> it was, uh, what needs to be let go of was the companion. What needs to be learned was the scientists. Keep experimenting. What needs to be learned was the lovers, like, what do you love about yourself and how can you express this? And I said, that's my my content creation. I said, I'm not a rapper. I'm a content creator, but you really a hater. I do a music video like a fashion show at the rodeo. I could pop up in a kimono and pop up in Tokyo. <laughs> they think I'm lying, call me Pinocchio. I don't want your hoe, that's a tire hoe. I got a crazy flow. <laughs> Hitting bars at the bars. So yes, we did Cigar Talk and we did Who's the Greatest Rapper Alive. And then, and then we just moved to this Oracle deck and the three that came out was The Magician. It was, you can't see me, John Cena. It was The Magician, The Fatalist, just keep moving. And it was The Green Man, staying grounded, staying present. And that's why I like my dog, you know what I'm saying? My dog, I don't, bro, if you don't, bro, get a dog, bro. <laughs> I don't, now, like, cause I have a snake too, right? And the snake, the snake, like, this is the difference, right? Anybody will say, a dog, before you have kids, you should just go ahead and get a dog. And that'll let you know if you're even ready to have kids. So, um, the snake, like a snake, a cat, people, why do the people like those? They're low maintenance for real, for real. You can't look at a dog and say that a dog is low maintenance. Even a lazy dog, a lazy dog got health problems. You know what I'm saying? Just look at this. Pause. Wet, juicy stick. <laughs> uh, so a lazy dog got health problems. A dog, bro, makes you present. You there? I wrote, one of the things I remember about having a dog, bro, you, you got to go outside every day. You're going to go outside every day. 
Bailey makes me go outside every day. You know what I'm saying? There is no, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you gonna stay in the house all day and chill? You know what I'm saying? That dog gonna get up and say, ooh. <laughs> she she tried to catch it. And it smacked her in the face, bro. <laughs> she tried to catch it and smacked her in the face. This is why I gotta fake her out and throw it in the opposite direction. Um, so, a dog makes you present, bro. Like, I don't have an alarm clock. My alarm clock is my dog. Bailey gets up. I gotta use the bathroom. Take me outside. And, bro, they can't talk. They can't talk. And they gotta communicate in whatever way. And this joint is so crazy, bro. Cause like you, like you see, like you or or that you hear, you can hear her, and all she wants is for you to pick up your stick and throw it. And bro, once I start throwing it, bro, it's like no stopping. Man. There's no stopping her. Ain't no stopping this now. Wow, she gonna start crying. But I done gave you a couple throws. And let me get back to the gym. Let's pull these out real quick. So we got the love. No, we got the OG deck. We got the shadow. And we got the, the playtime. We're going to go with the OG. The OG homie. Ain't never switched up on us. Ain't never switched up on us. The OG deck. The OG deck. And this was my, um, it says Aries, plus a K, certain stuff. Uh, whatever this is, red something. I don't really like how it looks. I need one that's like a little more chippier. A little chippier. I don't like them smooth ones. The smooth ones, I don't know why. The, I, of course you can make something smooth. You can, it can actually be real, you can make it smooth. But I do want the chippy ones. I do want the ones that like, nah, this is the natural. That like, whatever it is, I like the, if you go to like uh, Stone Age or you know, just those places, they'll have it and they say, this is natural, whatever. And I like the ones that are natural, not the ones that's all chipped up. So let's see what, let's see what the energy workers say. What's the advice for the day? You know what I'm saying? What's the advice? The, only, the other reason is because since I, ha since I haven't done this in over a month and I barely do it, I also kind of just, it's really like, you know, you play a game memory, and you got all the cards, you got 64 cards, so you got to put them over and match them up and see, you got to try to remember. I like, just based on memory, I'm like, yo, can I even remember what these guys kind of like go for? Um, but that's why I kind of attach with also numerology. You got an ace, um, the ace, new start, new beginning. It's almost divine, you know what I'm saying? Coming out of what, nowhere, this um, uh, opportunity, whatever it is. And um, Pentacles is earth energy towards where we have to So that's dope. <laughs> His new opportunity, you know what I'm saying? And I am officially, you know how like, if you sit down in something wet and it's just like, you know what? We're just gonna sit in it. <laughs> Eventually it'll dry up. <laughs> got the Ace of Pentacles. Got the Ace of Pentacles. Also, before I was doing this thing, bro, I had got to a point where it was on some stuff where uh, I can memorize the whole joint in my head, everything that came up. I kind of just, we just, we just did a, a slight synopsis already. Synopsis means summary. All right, because I'm, I'm too smart, bro. Because it's like, yo, you need to show your intelligence off. I'm like, all right, man. <laughs> people just be so surprised. Like, yo, he was a math teacher, but he's also an artist. And he's also this, and he's also this. Like, I mean, people be confused and shit. That's when we had the magician card come out. Um, I see seven of pentacles, I see judgment, I see the four. And so that's it. Um, nine, we got nine of wands. And again, wands, fire energy, airs, and the that's fire, that's creation. And this is also, now I think the energy behind this is that you need to go ahead and just continue to push forward. You know what I'm saying? You're nine, you're close to that 10, you're close to that everything that you built up so far. You done built a lot. I told you, I just got my, my male supermodel fashion designer playlist. I got my hip hop, you don't stop. I got the um, jam rock. I got the country bumpkin playlist. Um, so I got the music video edits. I got the acting. I got um, 
the podcast, Cigar Talk, um, the Graffiti Jungle. I got an audio book for all six of my books. Oh my gosh, shout out to my sixth book, man. Finally here. My sixth book finally got delivered yesterday. And it's like, there were so many delays and pushbacks and it's like, okay, the day that you want to come, you want to come on, on the eclipse day? It was crazy. And did y'all had to wait, bro. I had to wait, like, I just knew. You, yeah, like you, well, I think I made the live unlisted. So unless you, if you wasn't there, you had to be there. You know what I'm saying? But I was live, I was walking. That's when I had to, I had to do my, I had to make it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? And then I was like, I sit on my morning walk. I saw the Amazon truck. I said, oh, y'all, when we get back, it's going to be the, uh, the book going to be here. Get back, book not here. So I said, well, I guess that means we got to keep going. And then we keep going. And then we went and got the gummy, the gummy worms and the uh, energy drink. And then came back, still on here. So I was like, man, forget it. I, at least I had the cigars. I got, what you call? I'm going to do cigar talk. We're going to have the cigar talk about the greatest rappers alive. Finish that. And then what? Got the book, did the unboxing. So I got an unboxing for all my books and I got the audio book for all my, I got a YouTube audio book for all my books. So even if you don't buy the books, you can listen to the audio book and see what the book is about. But we about to go back through this, uh, my sixth book, cause that's, this is going to be the most interesting book in the world. I, it's like, I had to look back at it myself like, whoa. All right, so we're going to take this car right here. Now, if you don't know what this is, <laughs> so you know, I used to be doing my stuff outside and it used to be windy and it's like third, boom, 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 and I lost the car. And so this is that lost car. But thankfully, it was only one car, and I know what this is. It's the Wheel of Fortune. 911, here come an emergency. And we just let the, the trucks hit cars. Hey, man, perspective. You see things from the right way. You, who's, am I seeing it the right way? Or are you seeing it the right way? I don't know. Who's seeing? Um, we're looking at the same thing, but we're looking at the same thing from different perspectives. Um, but this is the Wheel of Fortune, and this is working with those energy. The fortune can turn in your favor, out of your favor. It doesn't matter. It's all in it. You know what I'm saying? It's all in this grand scheme of things. It's all going how it's supposed to go. You just got to work with it. Um, but use, instead of being warped up in the tornado, stand in the middle. The center of the eye is the calmest part of the tornado. That's actually, that's a Snapple fact on the bottom of the Snapple cap. Make sure you look that up. These ain't Rapple. These ain't Google facts. All right. Um, but Wheel of Fortune. Um, but yeah. I remember I did a, I did a, uh, I did a uh, professional development because I was going to say PD, but if you don't know what PD means, PD means professional development. It does not mean police department, but then again, that's jargon. It, the jargon, it, jargon is language specific to a company or field. <laughs> I got to put people on, but I'm not an English professor or nothing like that. I just published six books, but I'm not an author or nothing like that. I just... You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just just doing stuff. But jargon is language specific to a particular company. So this word or phrase or acronym means something in this um, instance. So PD means uh, police department in one instance, but as a teacher, it means professional development. But right now we want to have some unprofessional development, some UPD. Very <laughs> loose. Um, I did a professional development one time and I had all the teachers sit down, right? And then I said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming in. I said, stand up and go to the opposite side of the room. So I had all the teachers stand up, go to the opposite side of the room and then sit down. I said, so we're in the same room. The only thing that happens is you went from one side of the room to the other. So you're looking at the same room from a different perspective. And I said, that's what we need to do with the, with the when, you, like, when you're talking to the students and you're talking to the kids, it's the same situation. It's your side and it's their side. But if you can just flip through your perspective and see things from their, their point of view, then um, then we can start to have a, a real conversation here. Because it, it was, because I understood what the, and yes, there are, you can't just be, well, I'm not gonna say you can't, but when you wear certain things and you show off certain things, like now I'll say this, who makes a very good point at this, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle says, has a good point about this. Um, he said, like the women be like, oh, just because I'm wearing this this short skirt and I got my legs and my thighs out and I got my this and the third out and I got this out, don't that don't mean I'm a hoe. That 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 don't mean nothing. That don't mean I'm easy. That that don't, that don't mean nothing. I just dress like this and I dress like this for me. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Dave Chappelle was like, he said, okay. Um, but then he was like, uh, hey, this man's over here dying. He's dying. 
and this man's dying. Somebody come help him. Hey, you're a doctor. And he's like, just because I have on scrubs doesn't mean I'm a doctor. Just because I'm dressed this way doesn't mean I'm a doctor. What makes you think I'm a doctor? He's like, well, you got the outfit on, you got this on the third. You look like a, just because it, you look like a and you quack like a, don't mean you are, you know what I'm saying? But that was, that was the Jones like, just cause the girls be dressing like hoes don't mean that they a hoe, right? <laughs> I can dress how I want to dress. Okay. <laughs> I do this for me. What are you proje projecting? <laughs> now, I did date a dancer. Now she said some stuff to me and it was just, I was like, all right. I was like, you're true on that one. She was like, yo, I'm young. My body is going, this is the best my body going to look. I need to show it off now. Cause then I'm gonna be old, I'm gonna be 70 and old with saggy titties and a droopy body. I'm gonna look back and say, I wish I would have showed my body off more. I look, I look good back then. But that's a lot of people, that's some life advice. Appreciate how you look and who you are right now. Because you're, yes, your, your skin is gonna be saggy. You're gonna be old and you can't move. And you're gonna look back like, damn, I used to look good. <laughs> you can give yourself credit. Give yourself credit now, you look the fuck good. You look the fuck good. Uh, moving to the playtime back. Let's have some fun with this shit. Bailey. What was the first ones that came out, man? Can you answer me that, Bailey? The first ones that came out were Ace of Pentacles. We have Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. And I can memorize. I can memorize the whole jank. Every card I pulled, bro. Every card I pulled. Fucking the star. Got the fucking star. That's hope, wishes, rejuvenation, fulfillment. Type shit. Slight shit. These are just boy tarot, bro. This is just boy tarot. I'm just putting people on just some different shit just because. Because you, I be on the position of like, the joint about this is like you gotta confuse your like. Let's say, let's pretend you have a soul, and your soul is inside of you. You gotta wake this shit the fuck up. You be doing the same shit every day. The soul be like, I'm fucking bored. Why the fuck am I here? What the fuck am I doing every day? I'm doing the same shit every day. What the fuck am I doing? But this shit right here, you don't know what car about to come out. So it's like you kind of wake up like, hey, bro, what are you doing, bro? Stop doing what you're doing, bro. Got the Ace of Wands. We already had the Ace of Pentacles. Now we got the Ace of Wands. So two Aces out this jam. And Wands is, I told you that, Aries Leo Sag. I'm an Aries. We're still in Aries. They said in Aries season, we had an eclipse and an uh, earthquake. Bitch, we turning the fuck up. It's, it's time. It's the Aries taking the fuck over. <laughs> got the Ace of Wands. Again, that's some more D uh, Divine Spark and Inspiration coming out of nowhere. Uh, next one. Now we have the Six of Cups now. When we did the first, the love deck, we had the 15, that was one plus five is six. And we had 24, two plus four is six. Now we got this other six, and that's the six of cups, six of cups, cups is water, energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm just too nice with this shit, bro. I don't need to be trying. I don't need to be trying, but I just, I just, and I ain't even on some other shit. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just pulling with this shit. And this, but this is what it's supposed to mean. This is what it's supposed to say. So the cups is water, energy, you know what I'm saying? This, but six is a stable and a balanced number. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's like, but you, it's something that you got to learn to do, right? You got to learn to give a little and not over give too much. You can say, yeah, I got this lined up. But this right here, I'm keeping for myself. This right here, I can share with you. And that's why I say, you know, niggas thought they were shitting on me. You know what I'm saying? They thought everybody else was better than me. And then they looking back at me and like, damn, what's this nigga doing? You gotta be shitting on me. This nigga's so damn shitty. Like, God damn. And I was riding my bike, but I'm not a type. But that bitch really a dyke. We, we sit on the top on the pipe. I got my cigar pipe. No, I don't. I left that shit. And then, oh, that's three. That's three right there. Let me just see what's right here. We got the four of wands. That's another stable number right there. Bam. Bada boom, bada bam, bada bam. Bam, bam. Who used to run this shit? Sierra. Sierra. So I did my, my joint yesterday with the, you know, um, what's that joint called? Uh, the Greatest Rappers Alive. I stopped at the top four. Y'all can debate about who's five and who who comes else after that. I don't really care. My top, well, I, I basically gave you five for real, for real. Yeah, you can debate about who would get, I, I'm not, I don't even really care because I'm just gonna go right back to like, these people are way better. So I did that, did that. Now we got one more. Um, let me see if I can actually remember everything. From the love joint, it was 15, the companion. It was 11, the scientist. It was 24, the lover. Then, uh, from the Archeo, it was the Magician, the Fatalist, and the Green Man. Then from my OG deck, it was Bailey. Okay, well, I'm doing my synopsis here. 
uh, from the OG. It was the Ace of Pentacles. It was Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and then the Wheel of Fortune. And then just then with the playtime. See, I was going through the playtime too fast. I was going through it too fast. I know there was an Ace of Wands, and I know there was a Six of Cups. But what was the first one? Mm, it wasn't no swords. I didn't see no swords. Oh, it was a star. It was a star. You got to know who you are. All right. Last one. Damn it. I don't get that far, bro. Come on, man. All right, baby. I just I gave you a throw. I gave you a throw. All right. Last one. Last one, bro. Last one. And then we're going to edit some visuals. Dang, I need some food. I ain't got... We can't even do it. We ain't got the mukbang today. We ain't got no mukbang today, bro. I'm eating air. The sun. Moving towards your happiness and abundance. We had... So the first one that came out... If I, if, if I had everything laid out, but we just go on top of my head, so it's laid out in my head. It was Ace of Pentacles, the star, and the sun. Psh, crazy lineup. Crazy lineup. The second row was another ace. The second row is ace of swords remember ace again start beginning that divine spark coming out of nowhere this is also truth and clarity you know what i'm saying it's a win again and again the ace of swords the ace of wands and the nine of wands wow crazy lineup in the second row last row now the last row was will of fortune will of fortune um, six of Cups and Judgment, waking up to a new life. Your old life is in the coffin. You gotta wake up to a new life. I said I gotta get away from the people that cause strife in my life. Because otherwise, I come, you, you'd be like that one lady in high a sniper rifle who playing Call of Duty, sitting at the Eiffel Tower in France. I got ants in my pants, and we want to dance. What's the name of that one? That one, uh, the one gym, what's her name? Dancer, Prancer, the, the reindeer. Blitzer, Dasher. All right, that part is done. So it was bothering me. The last few days, I was like, yo, it kept saying like, do the job. I'm like, all right, bro, finally got that job done. But we wanted to revisit my sixth book. <laughs> my sixth book, bro. This is the most interesting book in the world, bro. Oh, my gosh. First of all, it reads backwards. So, page one. I wrote it on. I wrote it with my Apple Pencil. So this is page one written on February 28th, 2024. I said, I have to start at some point. Ms. V checked me, checked on me. So I quit procrastinating and I told her I was going to start painting my jacket order. I had pulled out the colors I needed the day before. So I must have the energy to start. I grabbed the paper plate and a, and a cup of water and started putting paint down. But then, now remember I told you the book wouldn't come out it wouldn't publish because of formatting and stuff the day i wanted to publish it so i started going back and i started editing it so i edit this is an edited version of my book so i edited i started editing the book and i started crossing stuff out i'm like okay i don't want this where I, I really like it's like is, is it is it called a typo if you write it with your finger and your hand i don't know what that's called but i just started crossing out typos and stuff i was like oh i gotta edit this rewrite this I was like, we're just going to pretend, we're going to pretend that this is a comic book. Because I, I, I wanted to have a comic book. So I was like, so we're going to pretend that this is a comic book. Again, making edits. I had some typos, so I got to block out the typos. The writos. Oh, because I think uh, I was trying to take out if I had mentioned somebody's name or something like that. Or somebody might be able to find out who this was. I was like, let me just cross that person's name out or something. 
Um, and then it do get a little small. It do get a little small, but listen to the audiobook. If you can't read it, listen to the audiobook. The audiobook is on YouTube. Again, some of the pages repeat, and here's why. So page 11 explains why. Page 11 explains why some of the pages repeat. It says, I kept living the same story over and over. And every time I got to the end, a new chapter would begin. I keep run, I keep remixing the same story of who I am. But no matter how much I mix it, niggas still don't understand. I'm the same man who did that, that, and that. I changed my name, called myself this, that, and that. It doesn't matter what I pull out the hat. Everything that comes from my mind is straight facts. It really depends on who it's coming from. Because some people are straight liars, straight dum-dums. Everybody got a different story of him. What's your side? So I just kind of want to go through this one again in the daytime, bro. I just kind of want to go through this one again in the daytime again. There were parts when I was doing my freestyles, there were parts I didn't like. I didn't like the parts of this freestyle, so I just I took it out. But I left it there so you can see I'm editing it. And if you read, if you listen to the audio book, so here's the front cover of the book. But I love this picture so much. So I got this guitar as a gift to myself. This is my one year anniversary for my first book. And these this is like the, these are the last pictures that I took inside the Jeep and outside the Jeep. Um, so that's why I kind of wanted to, even though the Jeep and these are this is why I'm so grateful about pictures, bro. These why I'm so grateful about pictures, bro. Like I can always say like there's nothing somebody can say to me, bro. These are the last pictures I had with my Jeep. And I can say this is what the this is what this side looked like. This is what the other side looked like. And that's I called my Jeep the graffiti jungle. Um, and then I had my fish and my snake. And so my fish and my snake, uh, they both died. So rest in peace to my, my fish and my snake. That's why you see that here. But I just put this cover uh, inside the book, but I put it upside down. Why? Why? Why do you do anything? And so I just think it's I think it's just cool. You look at the picture and you want to turn the book upside down and make it look right. The book is already you got you already got to read the book backwards. Then I start writing in red. Uh, so the other parts about this book, this is my first book in color. All my other books are in black and white. Now, this is my sixth book. My sixth book is called six in roman numerals this vi is a six in roman numerals it's called six the subtitle is called graffiti jungle um but in my fifth book the pages are random and they're scattered so i started rewriting the pages of my fifth book i started rewriting the pages of my fifth book so i was like yo so you don't gotta go looking through all the pages of the book here um now the only time i kind of even reference myself i say chief jahara the name for myself chief jahara kim dynasty and so I'm rewriting the pages, but then I get bored. Oh, then you can see like some of the pages I had to turn it this way. So, oh, that's actually that way. So this is really page 81. Um, so I think if I turn, let me see if I can turn this back so you can actually turn it. Okay. So I had put page 111, but that's a three, but it's supposed to be page, you know what I'm saying, 111. I think you can understand. But this is in book five. Um, again, I immediately went to the site to get them. Uh, so I just think this is just a really cool book. This is page 91. This is page 80. The pages are out of order and they all over the place. So in this book, I decided to try to put the pages together and I was just drawing stuff in there. Um, the shipping was, you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, the shipping on that jump. Um, page 82, you know what I'm saying? Writing the words out. It's just doing different stuff. Um, so then I got the black and white font. She gave me two fives. I had to edit that because she gave me two $5 bills. I'm like, they're not going to understand. Oh, low key. Hey. <laughs> so page 107 of my third book. Thank you for voting on the poll. Thank you for voting and engaging on the poll. So page 107 of my fifth book, it says it got a cigar. So I was like, let me actually draw a cigar in here. I tried to, because it's like, you know, you know how hard it is for somebody to see that and say, is that a cigarette? So I was like, man, I tried to make sure that it's wrapped up in this on the third. Uh, so we're just taking a, a peruse and stroll through here. 
Um, now, other parts, page ID saving. So I gave her the other $5 on faster so he could cash at me the $5 I needed so I could make the play. Page a hun hundo. <laughs> okay, connect the dots. Here's a brief intermission. So here's a connect the dots inside the book. And of course, you know who that is, bro. You know who that is. I think you know that's the guitar and the Project Extinction merge. The design is there. Uh, then this is my version of a monthly planner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you're going you're gonna to have to write super small. But if you're just getting started and you just like, hey, well, there's a planner inside the book. Let me just use it. Let me just fill it out. Let me try to. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is down here. Here's the weeks of the month. You know what I'm saying? Try to plan this out. And it's general. So whatever month it is, just put the month there and just start going. Uh, so let's see. I was trained by a cute Hispanic woman. Don't worry, she's not available. She was fine though. I'll tell you that much. She knows who she is if she ever sees this. But that's it. I'll have to get famous and then she'll have to find like, he was talking about me, y'all. <laughs> Page 64, alternate endings and situationships. You know how that is. People can relate to that. The situationships. All right, I'm getting tired of rewriting. So that's it. New chapter. I was on live and made up a short story with holes. YouTube, Kim Dynasty. All right, so here's creative writing class. Make it your own main character. So put whatever whatever you want to name the main character, you put that name here. And every time I put UC MC, you're going to fill it in. So let's just say our main character is Jahara. Jahara is part of a tribe called Quest. <laughs> joke, that's a little jokey joke, but we're gonna actually give our, uh, but we're gonna say um, Kim Dynasty. So Jahara is part of a tribe called Kim Dynasty. The tribe gets raided and the chief is killed. The remaining survivors are called, hmm, what are we gonna call the survivors of the Kim Dynasty? Hmm. We're going to call it Graffiti Jungle. The remaining survivors are called Graffiti Jungle. And the son of the chief takes over. Now, my story is going to be different from your story. Everybody should have a different story. It was creative writing class. The son made a deal. Ooh. The son made a deal with... Mm, I'm going to say Brain Release. That was my old company. The son made a deal with Brain Release to kill his father. Why would he want his father dead? So there's a lot of reasons you can say like why a son would want to kill his father. Maybe the father was abusive. Maybe the son just wants to take over. Maybe the son is just doesn't want to wait until the, the father is old and dead and wrinkly. He wants the, maybe the son just wants power now. Um, so there's a lot of reasons that a son could want his father dead. The survivors become a nomadic tribe fleeing brain release because the son still owes them for killing his father. Brain Release finally catches up to them and they decide to fight the best warriors. Our main character, Jahara, is the best fire fighter and quickly beats them all one by one. Once Jahara beats everybody, Jahara looks at the Sun Chief and challenges him to be leader. Jahara wins. Of course, our main character has to win. He's the main character. Why would he ever lose? The girlfriend of Sun Chief looks at Jahara and says, we can finally be together. And so that was the, uh, that was the, um, so it's low key like a love story. And what ends up happening, so now it's on some, the the girl was dating the one, but she didn't want to date him. She had fell in love with the other one. So she was like, yo, we're gonna make this whole plan, have him kill, and then you go out and then you kill him. And then we can finally be together. And you can be, you can be the chief and we can be together. So that was the love story. And it's a short story. Cause they was like, yo, you writing all these books, you need to have a short story. Like, right, here's my short story. So this is my second book. That's the second time we heard the ambulance, ain't it? Second time we heard the ambulance. So what I want to do now is, um, so yesterday, I ended up smoking this cigar, this one. I'm mad about that. So yesterday, I ended up smoking this cigar right here, and I didn't like it too much, but it wasn't bad. 
And so that's how that's how I knew if it was a bad cigar, I would be like, oh no, nah, there's a reason. Like I'm never going back to this. But it wasn't good, and so that's why I didn't really remember it. But now I got to go back and give it a rating. You know what I'm saying? Everything else has a rating, and there was boom, boom, boom. So we're gonna go back and give this a rating, and we're gonna say it is a it's a basic. I'm gonna give it a seven point one. We're gonna give it a seven point one. Uh, very, it's a very average smoke time. Uh, it actually gives okay visuals, okay smoky visuals. It's it's very basic. But would I smoke it again? Yes. It's, it's, it wasn't bad. Oh, my God. I would smoke it again. That's why it's at least a seven. Average smoke time. Okay, smoky visuals. Um, what do I usually? Composure. It actually became undone a little bit. But that's because it was in my uh, bag. But I'm not going to give it. I'm still going to give it a knock for that. So it doesn't get any credit for composure. It yeah, holding up. And it gets hot towards the end. Like it's gonna burn my lips and stuff. Hot towards and um, I have nothing. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna add some commentary and I'll just say I smoked it for a second time doing cigar talk. Greatest rapper. And that was on 4 8 24. 4 8 24. So I updated that. And also, what I wanted to do was the cigar that I smoked during the unboxing of my six book, I wanted to just add that band to the book. Um, it was nothing OD um, that I loved about the cigar. Like nothing at all. Very, nothing at all. Very. It, it, it's a bear. It's a bear minimum seven. So this time it's just doing something new, doing something different. But for the unboxing of my sixth book, this was the cigar we had for the unboxing of my sixth book. And it had two bands actually. And I was thinking about putting one of the bands on my jacket, but I don't even care to put it on the jacket. I have some I have some other stuff I need to put on the jacket. I think I gotta put a pool a Fuente. This has to go in my cigar book. Um the Fuente was tough. The Fuente was tough. I gotta add these. All of these gotta get added to the cigar book. This one. This one. Um, that's my father. Oh, but this is the one I was just, yeah, this is the one that I was talking about that I had yesterday. This is that one. So all these bands got to get added to the book. All these bands got to get added to my cigar book. However, comma, oh, there it is right here. This is, so the cigar that I smoked yesterday, so you can see the full package. It actually comes with like four different bands. So I just showed you that. It's called the Devil's Hand. It's called Devil's Hand. And that's what I just gave it. Uh, would I recommend it to somebody? No. That's what goes here. So this Devil's Hand goes with this right here. It goes with this one. Um, so would I recommend somebody to smoke that cigar? No. Because remember, if you're going to recommend... Now, anything I give a seven is yes, I would smoke it again. That doesn't mean I would recommend it. Especially you, because you, you, your recommendation goes far. And I remember I told somebody like, yo, I'm going to go listen to this. And if I don't like it, then I don't want to hear nothing else. Like your opinion is no longer valid. Like I don't want to hear nothing else you say just because you gave me the bad recommendation. So I would not somebody, I would not recommend somebody to smoke that cigar. Welcome to the Graffiti Jungle. Mobile Cigar Talk Podcast. So... What I'm going to do, this is my first time I'm doing this. What I'm thinking about is adding one band to the outside of the book. That's tough. It just kind of like fits, right? It just kind of fits. It's a, 
It's like, you know, you got the, the WWE wrestlers and they be having a belt. Just like the belt, it's like a, a cigar belt. Um, but I'm putting one band on the uh, in, on the book. I think I'm just put one band on the book. And it's just like, it's like, it's almost like perfect. The fact that the book is set up like this and it has this space, that black space right there, it's filling the negative space with something. You know what I'm saying? And I can just put that there. And then on the inside of the book, I can put the actual, uh, I can put that band and then do a rating for it. So we got some blue, we got some blue. And let's go ahead and push it up just a little bit. <laughs> and but look, like if you don't, what you gonna call it? The glue just gonna keep on coming out. So I try to like do that and then put the top on it really fast right. so it may have too much on it like that big glob right there And it's already kind of hard in it. I'm messing up, okay. We're gonna add this band to the front of the book. So the only thing that this band represents, this was the this was the cigar that I smoked for the unboxing of this book. And I'm trying to think real quick. Yo, water keep falling. Um Yes, I know I've been on this wave of trying to get out of being a perfectionist, but I'm also on a, I also live with the mentality that if you don't like something, then you alter it, you change it, you do something until you do like it. And you know what I'm saying? And then it becomes perfect to you. It becomes perfect to you. Now, as I'm looking at it as is, you know the top of that band, it's uneven. Let's call it asymmetrical. It's not symmetrical. If I would've thought about it, I would've ripped it but I didn't think about it. So I was gonna put this on the inside of the book, but as I'm looking at it, I don't care about this part of the picture, so I'm gonna cover that up, I don't care. But this part, this part right here is longer than this part. I don't like that. So I'm, covering, I'm gonna cover this part up. And let me just go ahead and rip off because I see like these two ends aren't the uh, even either. Like I just said, if I would have known, if I would have thought about it, I would have ripped that other part off. So let's rip this part off. So now it's a little more even and we're going to add that right there. First time I ever did this. First time I ever did that. adding it to the, so usually you see, I add it to, I keep track of all the cigar bands. Where my receipt keep falling. I keep track of all the cigar bands inside the book. And so now we have this cigar band on the outside of the book. You know how you, you know how you, you be so lazy and you try your best to reach for something without getting up. <laughs> you 
you be so lazy, bro. Like, okay, if you can't relate to that, it's just like if you got your charger, if your charger is what you call it, and you're like, oh my gosh. That's why I encourage everybody to get a 10 foot charger. Whatever, I don't care how much, where you go, how much it's gonna cost, they sell them at the gas station, they sell them at Walmart. Get you a 10 foot charger so that you can connect your phone. So you don't gotta, you don't gotta lean over trying to charge your phone. Just get you a 10 foot, get you a 10 to 12 foot charger just so you can play with your phone comfortably while you, you can charge your phone while you're laying in bed. You ain't gotta lean over and put your, your phone on the desk. You can play with your phone in bed with a 10 foot charger. Um, so, boom. Um, updated that. Now, our new book, book six, The Graffiti Jungle. Looks like this now. Well, my version. My version. My art the copy. <laughs> my art the copy. Uh, so, things I'm going to do right now, also in this book. So, in this book, when you receive your copy of Tangential Thoughts version two, It's gonna ask you on the first page, write your name, and it says, what date did you receive it? And so I, I received this copy of my book on Sunday, December 3rd, 2023. And then as you're going through the book, you'll also be able to get to, once you're finished with the first part of the book, it says date completed and then you write a signature. So he's like, cause you know, some people like, when's the last time you actually read a full book from beginning to end? And let me just, go, but this ain't keep falling out. Let me just go ahead and glue this uh this receipt into this book. This is a re, this is one of the receipts for my birthday. One of the receipts for my birthday. What was I just about to say? Oh, Yuri, at some point, right? You be like. You don't know the last time you read a book from beginning to end. And so this time when you read my book, you can be like, all right, yo, I just, I read a book, yo. I read a book from beginning to end. You can say, when somebody asks you, when's the last time you read a, a whole book? I know exactly. I know when I got this book. I know when I finished this book. Now, now another thing though, a lot of people, when they first got my book, they just, they read it, right? but my book is partly a journal so they can't say you know how like you play pokemon there's there's a there's a yeah you beat the pokemon league you're a pokemon champion but then there's the did you complete the pokedex that this, that's what this is like so some people uh, not not some people a lot of people read my book and they read the whole thing but it's like did you complete the pokedex yeah, you just beat the poke you, you beat the champion league. That part, that's the easy part. You get all the badges. Getting eight badges, that, that, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't really about nothing. Most people get eight badges. Becoming a, uh, the Elite Four champion, most people become an Elite Four champion. <laughs> Did you complete the Pokedex? That's different back and rights. It's just different. Is there much is 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 it worth it? I just watched a video the other day. Is it worth it completing the Pokedex? Those are just bragging rights, man. Those are just bragging rights. So it was like, did you finish the book? Did you really finish the book? Did you fill up all the pages? Yeah, you can read the whole book. You can read the whole thing. Boom, boom, boom. You can read the whole book. But did you really go through and fill in all the pages and do what you were supposed to do? I mean, we if it's a school of life and you students and it's a teacher and we in class, like, yeah, you can pass the class with a C. Matter of fact, you can pass class. You can pass class with a D. You can pass class with a D. That's what, that, that lets you know what type of person you are. One of the quotes in my book: "How you do anything is how you do everything." So, if you like to get through life with C's and D's, I can only suspect that you a C and D type of person. If you get through life with A's and B's, I can kind of expect that you a A and B type of person. Now, the C people are weird. Why? Because they might have did the bare minimum just to get by. But they some hard fucking workers. The C people, the C people is the hard working people. And that's why the quote is the, the A and B people end up working for the C people. Why is that? The psychology behind that, right? Why do the A and B people work for the C people? And these are not the 
these are not the alphabet people. These aren't, we're not talking about the LGBTQ people. We're not talking about those alphabet people. We're talking about students, A, B, C, D people, all right? Now, the A, B, C, the, the A and B people, why do they work for the C people? The C people are hard workers. They're the average Joe Schmo. Now, they gotta work harder to get that C. They gotta work harder to get that C. The A and B people are too smart. The B people actually work a little harder, but the A people are just too smart for their own good. And they're lazy. Their smartness breeds their laziness, all right? The A people are so smart, but they're lazy. It's that student who, who all they does is school. So when they apply, yeah, like, I expected you to get straight A's if you, that's all you did was school. You didn't get a job. You didn't play sports. You didn't do anything else with your life. Duh, you're supposed to get straight A's. So I expect that out of you. I, you, know, you see what I'm saying? And so that's why the A people end up working for the C people. Now, because they also kind of, they're, they're also like one track mind. They just know smarts, intelligence, brain work. You know what I'm saying? They just, just know how to do that. So the C people employ the A people. To, the C people are like, yo, I don't know how to do this, but you know how to do this. Not only do you know how to do this, this is all you like to do. That's the thing. The C people looks at the A people like, yo, I don't know how to do this. I just have a random plan. The C people, C stands for creative. I'm creative. I just have a plan. I have a dream, but I don't know how to make it come to life. You A people, you A people, you know how to do this stuff. You know how to actually bring it to life. So I need y'all to go ahead and just work for me and just bring my ideas to life. That's the difference between the A's, the B's, and the C's. The A's are super smart, but low key lazy. But they just know how to do it. They're just super smart. So the A people build the C people dreams because the C people don't know how to make their dreams come to life, but they're just creative. They have all these random ideas. And and also since they're so average, they, they also have, they're more complete. C also stands for complete. C stands for creative and complete. So the C people are complete because they actually have to have a personality. So that's what, like we talk about pretty people and pretty privilege. Like the pretty, the pretty bitches be fucking lazy. You know what I'm saying? And I mean that, we can mean that literally. They fuck lazy. <laughs> so... The pretty bitches are fucking lazy. They literally fuck lazy. Like, just be laying like a bump on the log. They think they so fucking pretty. They, like, oh, bitch, like, I'm just fucking pretty looking at you. Like, da-da-da. So, that's the pretty... But they never have to work on their personality. That's why when you ask somebody on a scale of 1 to 10, who who do you... Where do you want... Like, what do you want to date? Do you want to date a 10? Do you want to date a 9? Do you want to date an 8? Do you want to date a da-da-da? And so, some people will say, like, you know what? Sexually, it's going to be. It needs to be a ten. That needs to be on max. But no, it's like it's like the stats. The stats. This needs to be max. The sex needs to be max. The the looks can need to be up to par. But you know what I'm saying? We'll we'll go with a, a solid seven point five or eight for looks. This needs to be hitting intelligence though. That's something they don't. I don't think because because you, you also know the pretty bitches be like airheads. They just be dumb as fuck. So you're like shit, I can't do nothing with this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like you be like you be wanting pretty kids or something, right? But then you be like, damn, they be they could be they be <laughs> Yeah. You be like you want a pretty kid, right? So you you get with a pretty bitch, but then there's a possibility your kid gonna be dumb as fuck. You be like, damn. And then you be sitting looking at your kid like <laughs> Hey now somebody else said to me, I'm just repeating what somebody else said to me. One of some, I'm gonna repeat something else that somebody said to me. Everything you say gets repeated. Everything you say gets repeated. So, dude said this to me. He said, You can look at a kid, right? And this is just, this is, this is real life shit. You can look at a kid and say, You dumb motherfucker. And the kid gonna laugh like, <laughs> The kid don't know what the fuck you just said to them. You know that you're being mean. You know what you just said to them. But the kid just gonna laugh. And it's like, What if the adults had that same mentality? Like, You just call me a what? And just start laughing at this shit. It's alchemy. That's how you change this shit. And just you always on the positive. You don't, there is no good and bad. Everything is fucking good. Everything's fucking funny. It's all entertainment. Being like a kid, bro. So, but that would be some shit, right? If you want a pretty kid, 
you want your kid to be attractive. So, but you get with somebody who's attractive, but they dumb as fuck. So then as your kid growing up, you're like, I know where you get this from. <laughs> this, the dumb side come from da da da. The smartness come from me. You don't, uh, you don't want to play them games, bro. You don't want to play them games, bro. You don't play them games. That's just, that, I'm just chatting, bro. I'm just, this is the tangential thoughts chat show. So that's why the, the niggas like, I don't want a dumb bitch. But the, but the bitches be dumb because all they look, all they focus on was their looks. That all they did was look in the mirror. All they did was play with makeup. All they did was play dress and put on their clothes. All they focus on was they look. They didn't focus on their personality. They didn't focus on their humor. They didn't focus on being a good person. So everything else fucking sucks about them. So that's why you appreciate the bitch who she ain't ugly. Fuck that. Because other ugly bitches be pretty. That's because they actually had to work on the. They had to have. They had to compensate. They had to find something else to be worth being around. Why would you want to be around an ugly bitch? Is she funny? Is she cool? Is she cook? Is she do something third? Shit, she do all this other shit. That's shit. <laughs> I could be around this bitch. Um, but if you find a bitch who like above average looks and the other stuff is hitting, but the other part is like people be forgetting the intelligence part, bro. You do not want to waste your genes, bro. That is just different, bro. That's just that's a different struggle. It's like pick a struggle, bro. What you gonna be? What you gonna be? All right. So I did a little bit of that. I did a little bit of that. Now what I plan on doing now is um. So I updated both my books. We took a tour through the graffiti jungle. My sixth book. <laughs> updated this book with a rating. So we got two books for show, sure, you know, and that's for show, sure, you know. I know that she, uh, she sliding on the pole. So won't you put that? See on me, yeah, girl. I said, won't you put that? You're looking good right now. It's another night, bro. This one is so fire, bro. You see the cigar bands on the jacket. You see the cigar bands on my book. You see the cigar bands on the hat. And it's uh, if I had. Uh, if I would have took a picture of the back side of the cigar, I mean of the guitar, I put a cigar band on the back of the uh, of the guitar. Boy, cigar bands everywhere. I got cigar bands all up and through my wallet. It's cigar bands everywhere, bro. And they they got they got meanings to me. Oh, that's my birthday flip. Had to get right for the birthday shit. Had to get right for the birthday shit. But speaking of all of that. We updated that. We did all of that. Now it's time to edit some visuals. Cause I'm a content creator. We gotta edit something. We gotta do it a little shorter. I don't know what song I wanna use. I wasn't too proud of my visuals last night, but they say if you do just one small thing, just just do one, just do one small thing, it just gets better. Now what I was meaning to do though, I've been meaning to record some black and white visuals. So I'm, I'm a low key kind of do that. We'll do, we'll do that. We'll do it. Now that ain't it crazy? All right, this is like a conundrum. I don't even know if I'm using the word right, but maybe somebody might correct me if I'm wrong. But niggas, I'm, <laughs> bro, this dumbest shit, bro. I'm so fucking smart that you know how a smart person can say some dumb shit but still sound smart. That's how fucking smart I am. I can say some dumb shit, but the shit might make sense to a dumb person, and they wouldn't be able to check me or correct me. Like nobody can know if I'm using a word right or wrong. But then they look it up. It was like, damn, this shit actually do make sense. Like they're using the right context. I said, for instance, what's the golden rule? We just this is, this is a random conversation I just had the other day. What's the golden rule? Treat everybody how you want to be treated. I said, so what's the silver rule? The boy said, huh? The silver rule. I said, it's the contrapositive. <laughs> contrapositive. I said I was a math teacher. You know what I'm saying? The words in the English is English words, and what do they mean? We're using these words in math. That's why people don't like algebra, bro. People don't like algebra because algebra introduced the letters. It's like, yo, why are we using letters now? Why are we using letters in math? Letters and math don't go together. Why we got all these words? Why does Bailey? Oh my gosh. You know. Would you be able to tolerate it? A dog whining if a dog sound like a bird. 
You know how crazy that would be? Let's say the dogs and birds swap voices. Do you know how scared of birds you would be? If, if, if birds sounded like dogs, and so instead of the, all this stuff here, right? If birds was barking, if the birds were barking, you would be scared of the birds, boy. Ooh, that movie, Bird Box. That was a lit movie for a little bit. I think the ending was whack. That movie could have been so freaking legendary, bro. I don't... Again, instead of birds chirping, if the birds sounded like dogs, you would be scared as crap of birds, bro. But if the dogs sounded like birds, that would be so beautiful, right? Give me the stick. Give it to me. Because I'm so lazy. I'm a lazy dog owner. I don't like to move. <laughs> but it's like you train, either you train your dog or your dog trains you. So who's going to be doing more of the heavy work and lifting here? Thank you. So I train my dog for my laziness. So I don't have to move. That's the crazy part. I only had to move, and I still don't. I still don't be wanting to throw this stick, bro. Cause she, it's cause it's cause she don't get tired though. I like it's not even funny, bro. I could do Bailey. What's that song? Hours and hours. Bailey can do this for hours. Sit and catch the stick for hours. All right, that's gonna be. <laughs> all right because we be doing freestyles that's gonna be the, we're gonna do a hours and hours freestyle for bailey daily bailey adventures just a poem for bailey my dog bailey because i love her all right baby bailey can do this for hours sit and catch the stick for hours She only bring me sticks and not flowers. I think she got a superpower. <laughs> she can do this for hours and hours and hours. Sit and play fetch for hours. to give her treats but not the candy that's sour I want to take her around the world so she can see the Eiffel Tower sit and play games like Mario and Bowser. We can do this for hours and hours and hours. Dun, 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 dun. It was the very first productive, uh, we, just, we just hit the hour and a half mark. So very productive first hour and a half. We did a little tarot just because we were bored. Was it that productive? We did a terror. And that did anything else? I, 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 updated, I updated my books. I updated my books. That was that. Now I was just like doing this edit. So what I was meaning to do was, I've been meaning to do an edit for like the fashion and stuff. 
So I aired, now that was one of the Johns, like I had seen this one dude post a video and when he posted the video, I couldn't do what he had done because like I had pictures, but I didn't have videos of like me in the outfits and stuff. So I was like, dang, I think, cause I tried to do something like that. Like I took the sound from his video and I made my drum, but I only had like two outfits with like, you know what I'm saying, the visuals in the video. So what I kind of wanted to do now was just that I'm gonna go through and uh, just edit some of the videos uh, you know what I'm saying? Just different outfits and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just to compliment the, uh, and actually do like, if it's gonna be like a male supermodel joint, then, um, it was like a male supermodel type joint, then do a whole bunch of videos that show off different fits. That show off different fits. Now we got a lot, I mean, not a lot, a lot, but and what I kind of even want to do with it is put, so this is technically, how many videos is this? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, five times six, so there's 30 videos that we're going to put into one. This is also something epic, you know what I'm saying? So. Remember, we pulled what? We pulled the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and Ace of Wands. You know what I'm saying? This is another thing. I've never edited 30 videos at one time. I've never edited 30 videos at one time, but that's what we're about to do. Six, seven, eight, nine, up. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we're about to edit 30 videos. About to edit 30 videos into one so if we're going to edit 30 videos let me see how long it is i've never edited 30 videos so this is lifetime achievement so the, whatever edit comes out of this is going into the highlight room oh this now this is not the longest edit but this is not the longest i've ever had to edit though so all of these only total up to 18 minutes and 23 seconds they all only total up to 18 minutes and 23 seconds sure yeah what we gotta try to do is go through each one and pick out the parts that I like best of each one. So with this one, all right, so first video, um, my first, this first video edit right here is me writing it in my journals. So I don't even need the, I don't need the zoom. But well, actually, I'm gonna take the zoom in. Cause we'll zoom in, boom. We'll take, we'll take the zoom in. It's every season, two, 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 Ronaldo. You, I let, thank you, thank you, thank you. The angel numbers. Um, now you may not be the same Ronaldo that I taught uh, back in Jersey. But, uh, bro, he was a cool, that was a cool dude. That was a student who really challenged me to become a better teacher. Uh, so thank you so much, Ronaldo. Thank you so much. We're just gonna receive the love. We're just gonna receive the love for the day. Any love that comes our way. We're just gonna receive the love. So I'm gonna take the first part of this video and then I'm only gonna take the part where I write in this last part of this journal here.
Now, this joint also fire because these are the behind the scenes edits. These are behind the scenes edits. But this pen that I'm using is shaped like a rifle. I don't know if you can tell. The pen that's in my hand, that pen right there is shaped like a rifle. So that's another reason that pen is tough, bro. It's a rifle pen. And I can make it right in any color. I can just take off the, the top of it and put a, a, a knob from a different pen and put that inside of it. So it's like a refillable pen. Almost. It's like a refillable pen. So I want that part. Split. And we'll need the rest of this video. So we're starting, we're editing 30 videos. The total time for the 30 videos was 18 minutes and 23 seconds. We're gonna delete the rest part. We're, just, we're finished with the first video. Now, and I put this video in here, cause I changed, uh, I wish I would have had a little bit more. I, I wish I didn't rush so much, but again, we can slow this part down. But even in here, I changed from here in this jacket to putting that jacket on that I spray painted, boom. Now, one thing I also been noticing, I really like when I put the jackets on, bro. I like when I put the jackets on. So we like this one. That's easy. We can just literally, I literally just need parts of it because this is going to be the fashion reel. We're going to show people how to dress for real. So, as many outfits as I can put into this joint. And I only need them to see it. Only need them to see it. It's too tough. Like in this one, again, got my old snake. Got my old snake. But it's just for you to see it. I cut the sleeves off of the shirt and I glued a deer pocket to it on the front of it. Boom. And so I only need a snippet of it. I'm only gonna take this snippet right here where I grabbed the guitar. I don't even like that guitar. That's why I'll never touch it. You don't see it no more. Boom. I'm gonna just take that part. That's all you need to see from there. So. Boom. And we just gonna make them slow down, fast up, edit, boom, we don't need no more of that. This is a random jank. Again, just, I used to cut my sleeves off. I'm a distressed artist, distressed fashion artist. That's why I caught my first fish. Well, it's not, that's, that's, that's a lie. Not my first fish, it's my second fish. That's a funny video. Delete the rest of this. Now this one, there was only one part of this that I really needed. It was this part. Now I was dancing. I was dancing by the pool. Again, this is when everybody was joking me and stopped fucking with me and thought I was crazy. But I was just vibing. It's not moving. Uh -huh. Why is it not playing, bro? What in the world? I just need that part right there. Yeah, I was moving where, but I was just jigging, bro. <laughs> he said shit, the niggas like turds. So I just need the part where I come through with the this part. Nah, this one was tough. Nah, this was before it be. This was when it was still like slow, low key, regular. Like people could relate to it a little bit. The cigar talk, but 
By the way, I noticed in one of your videos that you were smoking. Oh my gosh. It's the name of the, the podcast is called Cigar Talk. Yes. That's all we do is smoke. All we do is smoke. You know what I'm saying? The name of the podcast is called Cigar Talk. Unfortunately, we don't have enough. Uh, we don't got much McCarty right now, so. I don't have any more cigars or tobacco. But that's why, send to the cash app so I get some more cigars and tobacco. We do some more cigar talk, cigar talk mukbang. I will get some snacks and cigars and tobacco. So we got this part. Boom. But we don't, now, now, I think the easy part about editing this right now is the fact that I really don't need, it's not that I, I don't have to edit it, but it's like I really only need one part of the video. Now, this is one of my favorite videos. Is it smoking bad for your lungs? I don't know. If it is, I don't care. Um, if you don't do it, you don't agree with it, then you just don't do it. You don't agree with it. But please don't tell me what to do. Because I'm going to keep doing it. Like, I don't care. Don't, you know what I'm saying? If you if, you, if smoking is bad for your lungs and you don't want to smoke, then you don't smoke. And that is good for you. Don't tell nobody else what to do with their life. Because I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. makes me happy. My, it's, smoking is my therapy. But also... Cigars, you don't actually inhale cigars. You actually, the, the smoke never is supposed to go below your, what you call you're not supposed to actually inhale it and go into your lungs. You know what I'm saying? So any type of cancer that comes from the cigars is more so oral and things like that. However, some people do allow the smoke to keep going. What you call it? So I was gonna make sure that's clear. We're gonna be very clear about that. So I actually can zoom in on this one. I can zoom in on this one, man. Boom. Yeah, I don't even want to edit that one. Okay, so this is not that. That's not the part I needed from that. Now, here's another one. It's another cool one. Um, these are some more videos that I just really had to watch. These, like, these ones that's got to be seen, man. When I had my first guitar. <laughs> this joke was epic. When I had that first guitar, bro. Oh, this got the whole edit. This the whole edit. Oh, this the whole edit. Oh, that's what this is. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. I was saying it's the video. Uh, so I just got to pick out the parts I want from that. This joint is epic. And so with this one, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in. I need more of this show. Because, like, so much is, like, I don't really need to see it. We don't need to edit that at all. We just gotta slow that up and slow, slow that down. This some rock star stuff. That's rock star stuff. So I don't need the back end of this video. I'm so much more happier that I know how to edit. I can make. I can finally make the videos look how I want it to look, bro. Like, there's a couple edits I haven't tried, that, but I just think they're like, I don't care to go like for super weird edits anymore, or not even anymore. There's just some edits like, I've seen people do some certain stuff, and it's like, I haven't even tried to do it. I don't think like it's a cool edit. This one. Bro, I thought this was an epic shot right here. This is the epic shot. This is the epic shot. Not the, that one, that's epic. Epic shot. Uh, I really love that shot. Cause I might use one of those for the intro. <laughs> So it's not that one, but it's that one, those right here. I might have to use the gel again. I might have to use that one. Or that Wayne gel. 
And just man, in case you said real dick eater, who you dick eating? And I think that's the name of the song. Yeah, bitch, man, please share real dick. Please, it's not dick, please. For sure, this one. How she don't suck dick, but she just let me to eat it. Die high, crazy, man. You don't want to do man. She look good, boy shorts in the beater. Some, some, some. I zoomed in on that one. I zoomed in. I don't gotta zoom in on this one. I'm gonna zoom in on this one. Also because I had that on it. Oh, it goes off screen anyway. It's not showing. But what do I like from this one? Oh, this has to turn around. Bro, I was having so much fun. Uh, that's a good one, too. <laughs> I don't think I need the rest of it. This one's fun. This one's so daggone cool. I can use it on some. Oh, I think that, that was a full edit. That's why I had so many back-to-back hard -back parts in it. Oh, now this is it. Yeah, I think that was your power. Oh yeah, I think, that, I think that's what I was trying to say about this. Uh, it's easy because I don't have to, I only need one part, like it's just like show it, show it, show it. You just gotta show it off. This ain't hit, boy. Not only this, 
I don't think I gotta worry about uh I don't think I gotta worry about um you know usually it's um no see I can take this whole first part off. Usually it's I gotta kinda look through the videos so when it changes, okay, next scene, next scene, I don't have to worry about it being next scene. These are all different videos, literally. Um, so it's like, I'm, all of these are showing different outfits. I might make this an overlay. This one right here, when I'm doing pull-ups, I might just make that an overlay. Hold on, I'm gonna leave that on. You got that one. It's too hard, bro. This stuff is too hard. <laughs> I might get this one overlay just so I can see it more. I overlay this one next one over top of it as well. this one. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to use that one. I don't know which one's better. Uh, not, yeah, it's not that one. So it's definitely going to be this one. You got to have one suit. You got to have one suit. Another guy from where I used to teach. Oh my god, it's going in on this one. We just need the back part of this one. <laughs> and that was it. All right. So now we went down from the, of those 30 videos, we're now down to uh, 30 videos, 18 minutes and 23 seconds. We're now down to six minutes and 45 seconds. And now I gotta go through and switch it up, change it up, speed it up, slow it down. So that we can hit that up, hit them up. I am hungry, I do not eat. So let's get it. And each of these technically can just be only got to be like one to two seconds long. It's just you got to see it. It's just, did you see it? 
I showed you what I'm capable of doing. I gotta mute all the clips, so I gotta hear all this stuff. <laughs> There's no point, you're not saying it. It's just, you're not saying it, so. I don't need to watch my problem. I'm not about to. It is fast enough. Boom, 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 boom. Everything gotta be, everything's less than three seconds, basically. <laughs> I just why I just think it's cool, but I mean I need to slow it back down. Is that that really hit? Now this one, I need to zoom in on this. Cause we just focusing on the fashion. We don't gotta focus on the backgrounds. So let's hit this again. Everything less than two seconds. So, ooh, five, five, five. Gotta show it. Just, you know what I'm saying? I just saw it. Um, where you see it at? Uh, let me put it to it. Five, five, five is right there. I be, I be seeing too many angel numbers, so I gotta share them. I'm not sure you can see. My finger knows probably dirty, bro. But five, five, five. When the timer, right there. Went down to five minutes and 55 seconds, right there. Matter of fact, it's not easy if I just put the camera on and show you. So now you can really see it. Here, there. Focus, 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 right there. So five, five, five. Um, I just want to show you what it looks like so far. Uh, we, I'm gonna, uh, I'll probably just go back and still just, you know what I'm saying, go back and forth between some stuff, but here it is so far. Boom, you see how the jacket used to look, switching out different jackets, guitars, cutting off the shirts and whatnot. Hey, <laughs> give me, boom, boom, boom. Yes, sir. That's all we got so far. That's all I'm doing so far. All right. But I just seen 555. Five, five, so I was like, let me just go ahead and share the 555. Five, five. So, yeah, I'm going to still mix up the order. But this going to be the fashion, the <laughs> fashion male supermodel reel. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Heat. This is one of my favorite edits, too. This is one of my favorite edits. It is, it's like the edit. I'm just saying, it's one of my favorite, like, outfits, everything. Like, bro, that's that's when I first thought. This, bro, this is when I was on some... Bailey, bro. Don't come back over here dirty. Because we got to get into the mud and stuff. So, this is on some... I think I had had a photo shoot. I had, had a photo shoot and um Bailey get down bro see this might be talking about man just put dirt all over me just want to jump up and put dirt
Let's stop doing that. Like that joke is acceptable to me sometimes, but that's a that's not acceptable to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? So that like that's another thing. Like some people have like you can have a friendly dog or whatever, um, but people don't be wanting to get jumped on by the dog. So that can really they just wear people anyway. But two two two. Okay, let me just show you two two two. <laughs> two two two. So let me edit this joint out. And, um, uh, don't want to put the hat on fast or slow. Yeah, yeah we'll put the hat on fast. Take that down from 22 seconds to now it's at 3.8 seconds, but we gotta get everything less than three seconds. So let's speed it up. And now. It's still not less than 30 seconds. It's too long. Now it's at 2.9 seconds. Screw that. It's at 2.5 seconds. Uh, and that's what most of it on max, but if I add a beat and then push it back up, it's at 2.4. Now, this part back here, this one with the audios, I might have to actually, uh, um, move these around. It's too many of these in one spot. This is one of my favorite outfits, probably, as well. Bro, I don't know why it has this chicken in the gimmick, bro. This is like, I've seen it, I saw a chipping up in the beginning, so I thought it was just whatever, but it's still chippy. So we're just gonna take that part out. I don't know why. Digital distortion. We're gonna take this clip and move it to the front. It's only at 1.9 seconds, and I think it kind of moves too fast, but. Um, we come back to it so much later. So. Oh, this one is no good. Oh, because you're trying to speed it up now. It's the slow motion. I'm trying to speak the slow motion now. And so what I actually just want to mind doing, I might keep that part of the slow motion. All the rest of it going fast. <laughs> It's like, then you got this slow motion part, like, boom, boom. And from here, uh, now, I'll split that up, cut it. Um, again, 
No, that, oh, this part's hard, man. This part's hard. I love this part. I'm gonna move this in the front. We might have to just speed up that first part. I think some parts of this is just repeating though. Like that part. Do you ever get to see that part? I'm just trying to see if you can actually see the original part. Like, if we keep, like you keep that for sure. Speeding up the slow moves. We're at four minutes and two seconds. I don't know what there something is taking to make it seem really long. I don't know what it is. But we gotta get it less than six seconds. These two don't need to be next to each other either. I'm just gonna move that to the back. <laughs> Just because I really like that. That can be the ink. Oh, we gotta be some other songs, bro. Oh, I didn't even get to that. Oh, I said I was gonna make this an overlay, too. I'm getting to that part. So I'm gonna make this an overlay.
Oh, and it can definitely overlay over this part it's over here. Oh, 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 We can start to overlay now. <laughs> Still needs to speed up. So the point right here is gonna be a long fire, bro. <laughs> when these ones are flashing in and out. I gotta speed up on this flash up part and slow down when it comes back into it. Gosh. Is that right? Speed up. Speed up. Slow down. That's what it's supposed to look like. This is. Because we fast, and then it comes in, because it's slow down, and then, and then that's speed up, it's supposed to be good. And the next, this one, it's out, up, that's the only picture. That's out, that's in, it should be going down, flash out, I think it's going to add another beat. Right here, and bring this up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Flash in, we'll flash out. That's what's good, let's do that. And I'll just generally speed it up over there. So, no. So from here, like this one, I'm gonna move the overlay to here. Mm -hmm. at this point, so this one will split and we'll move the overlay. Close the middle, I guess. And then we'll move the overlay up.
Ich sehe nicht weiter. Ich sehe nicht weiter. No. This is one that... This is the outfit that I really just enjoy. Man. Just up at the back end. Uh, actually, I'm gonna move the. Uh, I'll move the overlay to right. Uh, I'll move the overlay up here. There's no need on this actually. I just need that. That's like that's the only part that I need. I don't need that first part. Bro, I'm okay with this jump being a minute long. Too high, bro. Hold up. Mm. That's a minute and twelve seconds. Mm. This one, bro, I don't even care right now. Bro. I'll come back to. I know which parts. I have, I had the parts that at least like. Uh, <laughs> I at least want. 
but I'll go back through. Since I have the parts that I want, I can just just edit it again and do some other type of rearrangements. It's not at 59 seconds. And so, and I just want to speed this one up just real quick. Bro, speeding up a slow-mo is crazy. It don't work out that well for no reason. This one thing's crazy. Uh, again, with these ones with the lights flashing in and out, uh, on the outs, you need to speed up. On the pictures is when it slows back down and the light go out you speed it back up and when the picture comes back in you slow it back down <laughs> and I just wanted to run it to and just get that raw faster but I kind of want the end part <laughs> Here's what we got so far. Let's go through and see what, now we're at 54 seconds. I'm okay with it. Is that 54 seconds? It's a short, it's a short, so here we go. All right, boom. So. That's crazy. I'm gonna go back. So. Boom. Yeah, the terror we have Matt Aces, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, and Ace of Pentacles, man. The star. <laughs> Male supermodel. Lamborghini, baby. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, it's it, bro. That's it. When you want to talk about something, you want to talk about, bro, a stylist, fashion designer, artist, art, all that junk, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. We are going to change that to, we're not going to export that and we're going to export that in 4K. We're exporting this in 4K. <laughs> Boom. It's big rock star vibes. I don't even know what song we're going to use. <laughs> okay. Now, when it comes to something like this, and it's gonna be like major, heavy, heavy duty, super duty, call of duty, ratatouille. When it comes to something like this, this the music that I kind of want to use is at least like, especially, I like I ended up liking this edit more than I thought I was going to. <sighs> uh, but it comes down to, uh, if you gonna watch a video, right? And it got some sound to it. You don't wanna get tired of that sound. Like, cause then you don't even wanna listen to the video. So we're gonna export that in 4K. That's awesome aspect ratio. You know what I also could have done? Now that kind of, now I'm kind of, oh man, right? What I could have done 
We do shorts. All right, we're doing shorts. It's a music video short. It's only a minute long, 53 seconds. Um, but if I upload it in uh, aspect ratio, right? Right now it's, it's blank. I don't care, right? Don't care anymore. <laughs> don't care anymore. Let's check to see how many watch McCalls we have. Before we started today with like uh, 1,170 something subscribers. So, and it might have been like 1173. That, uh, that's why I might have posted on threads. <laughs> So let's take off the case. But I really don't know how we got to less than 10%, bro. Like, I don't know how we got less than 10%. Bro. That's the point. Reason. Let's get this moment charged. All right, phone charging up. All right, phone is charging up. Here come baby. Which one is that, baby? Alright. Oh, that was <laughs> now, I could just just for what's my call this. And now it's for sure you're going to not get hit no more copyrights if it's a quiet video. I'm gonna just it's an ASMR fashion show. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do for this first one. Hold up. Let's go uh aspect ratio. We're gonna export it twice. We're gonna <laughs> It's like, how is it ASMR and there's no sound? <laughs> this time it's gonna be no sound. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That did not work out well. No, which video, why are you doing that? This video is way off center. Okay, never mind. we're not doing that. We're just gonna keep it as a phone. <laughs> never mind. So we're gonna keep it at phone size. The editing, the proportions, because I had dragged, I had zoomed in on certain videos and dragged them over left, right. So putting it at the aspect ratio for a video was not going to be it. Okay. So, but for a phone, I might even zoom in more on this one. We zoom it all the way in, bro. Everything zoomed in. You gotta see the details. The devil, the, what they say? Something's in the details. I might make another argument at this part too. Just because it don't fill the screen. Mm -hmm. yeah, I might low key make this fish part. Like, this fish part ain't like heavy hitter type of shit. So, I'm about to take this fish part and make it an overlay. Over top of this. And I might make another overlay because I don't want the student head in the video. And doing the overlays also shortens the video up.
This is also going to be an overlay because this has a lot of free space in the up top corner. <laughs> like, I don't want to see this boy head at all in this video. All right, video is now at 48 seconds. I think we're okay now. So you spend, this is how you how you spend your first you know what I'm saying hour of your day. <laughs> I spend the first hour of my day with my dog, editing visuals, updating. I journal, I journal technically a little bit. All right, 48 seconds. Let's export that in 4K now. If I can find some audio. I could use, we could use the drop three. I'm about to delete all these videos off my iPad, bro. I'm about to delete all these videos off my iPad. Let me, I'm about to, after I export this edit, I'm gonna delete all these videos off my iPad. So, let's go edits. Yeah, thank you, bro. Well, um, the sun. Hey, bro, I be handling these people, bro. They be, they be trying to heckle me. I be heckling them. I be helping. And he said, bro, bro came, went back and deleted his comments. Wow. <sighs> Like he pulled a Kendrick Lamar. No, uh, he pulled a J. Cole. Nah, little buddy, stand ten toes on what you said. <sighs> Yeah. 
<laughs> he poured a J. Cole. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm about to sneeze it. Oh. Yesterday was yesterday was something I noticed, bro. Yesterday I was not sneezing, bro. I was not sneezing yesterday. The boy said, so I said, meet my pet dragon, Crush. My snake, Crush. Boy comment and said, that's not a dragon, that's a fish. Whatever your imagination tells you. <laughs> Say hello to my Loch Ness Monster. with the fish. Bro, like, I don't know. I think people think they're funny. Yeah, I just don't be thinking people are funny. We're still at 1.17, so I could have gained a couple new, but I wouldn't know until it goes over 11.79. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to see is uh, you can your videos um, now. We're also going to look at what are my old shorts? Um, I'm, uh, best way I can find this. Because sometimes I got to look for my own videos too. I'm like, yo, how do I find this video? Where is this video at? Like? So we just made a new playlist. It's called Male Supermodel Fashion. But I needed to say Male Supermodel Fashion Designer. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I almost deleted the playlist. I almost deleted the playlist. Thank goodness they asked you, do you, are you sure you want to delete? Cancel. Whew. I was trying to edit. Male supermodel fashion designer. I need to put an emoji in front of it. Male supermodel fashion designer. Now, if I search model, nothing pops up. If I search fashion, the pens and the scroll pops up. Wow. Uh, now, the closest thing is that whatever the dance thing is, but I don't think I like it. Oh, you got this little, I don't think I've ever seen this. This little glow ball, the little disco ball. Uh, I don't know why I've never saw it. I'm gonna go put, uh, I'll put the little glow ball afterwards. But I will put the, uh, which one call it first? The star, the eyes. Well, I'll use the artist emoji too. <laughs> I don't know if we have any male supermodels. Like, is there such a thing? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are such a thing. Like, who is it? I'm about to Google it. <laughs> Male supermodel. Save. They're probably gay. I think there's one person I can recognize. They said Rocky's name is up here for models. Tyson Beckford is, I think, the only person that I, like, kind of recognize his face. <laughs> David Beckham. Okay. David Beckham. But I feel like David Beckham plays soccer. I could really, I could be wrong. Uh, okay, I've seen the boy Broderick Hunter. Roderick Hunter. I think I, I think I've seen him before. But look, let's top male models of all time. Let's look at. I'm gonna see the top male models of all time. Oh my gosh! Like yo, bro, this he made it. <laughs> Noah Mills, Lucky Blue Smith. This is on fire. Can't even hold it. You know how somebody you see somebody doing some stuff. That's fire. That fur jacket. That fur jacket is tough. You know what I'm saying? That swoop with the hair, uh, you can't knock it. They got ads on this, gentleman? Yeah. That's fire, bro. That fur jacket fire. Alex Ludvist. It's weak. It's like, how are you going to show a picture, right? How could they ever show a picture of a male supermodel and it's just as whack? <laughs> Fabio Lanzani. You feel like you've heard I feel like I've heard that name before. Marcus Schenkenberg. This picture sucks like overall. It's like how did he make it? It's like why or how? Appeared on Calvin Klein, Valentino Armani and Versace. Jimo Honsu. I feel like I've seen him as in the actor movies. <laughs> he played in Amistad, in America, Blood Diamond. But those aren't the movies I feel like I've seen him in. I, don't, I haven't seen any of those movies. Francisco Lachowski, Michael Version, Alton Mason. He keep popping up. His, his joint keep popping up. David Gandy. He was some David Beckham type shit. John Corjarina. Jordan Barrett. Broderick Hunter. Rick Zombie Boy Guinness. Godfrey Gao. Mark Vandaloo. Brad Kronick. Adam Sin. Jason Lewis. Sean O'Cry. Enrique Palacios. Pietro Boselli. That's fine. His, his picture was, he the last one, his picture was fine too. Uh, GQ Italia, La Fission Home. He was discovered at age six in his hometown of Brescia, Brescia Italia. Wow. So he's the only one that got an actual fly fit. This this fit tough. This navy blue fit. Look like a, a sailor. Look like a sailor with this joint on, bro. All I need is the hat to complete it. But that jacket, this long jacket, it's tough. <laughs> the intro blue seven.
new channel, community, playlist, male supermodel fashion designer. <laughs> How do I get a Lamborghini? How do I get unlimited money? Uh, somehow, gotta be able to buy a Lamborghini and have unlimited money so I can fund the lifestyle that I want. <laughs> Damn. So again, I posted three shorts yesterday Here's the three shorts. Hold on, hold on, I gotta look at it again. Let me see something. That one. So I had to record the visuals last night and I'm gonna post another one. Remember, I just want to do some black and white. No, the part that was getting me right, I was about to say, how am I going to record some visuals in black and white for my first book that's in color? So the Graffiti Jungle is my sixth book, and it's the first book that's in color. How am I going to post visuals that's in black and white? That's great. But now I'm, I'm, I'm getting close to the board part. I'm bored now. Um, somebody said that this, the solar eclipse is going to be followed by 10 straight palindrome days and one month. The dates are 420, 420, 421, basically So the twentieth. So from the twentieth to to tw to the twenty ninth of April this month this year, April twenty twenty four. So from April twentieth to April twenty ninth, all of those days are palindrome, which means the date reads the same backwards and forwards. So I'll show it to you. So all of those dates from April 20th to April 29th, all of those dates read, <clears throat> read the same backwards and for, forwards. One of those days is Earth Day, right? I don't even think, I used to, but I really think Earth Day is like, what, four, April 23rd or something? Or I'm not sure how to calculate Earth Day, what Earth Day is. But I used to think it was for the, the 420 day when they started smoking. Bailey! The most annoying thing is she come back dirty. The most annoying thing is she come back dirty, boy. Yeah. <laughs> so I edited the visual. I edited the visuals. Oh, I was trying to think of the show the years. But the reason. Bailey! The reason I did it. Because uh, I was looking for my other shows. So I was trying to go to playlist. And I know in that video. I think it does she said that. You'd be so you'd be surprised at the sounds that it does know and the sounds that it doesn't know and the sounds that you're not allowed to use. Like the people who got who were able to use Desperado while it was still available. Lucky. Okay. Matter of fact, I can just go to Cigar Talk to find this. But it's gonna be the beginning of Cigar Talk. I'm not sure. I feel like up on it. I think it was it, man. All right, man. We're going to... Um, you know what song not going to be up there? Alphabet Bitches. Um, I don't think I like the beat from Alphabet Bitches, though. Let me see if I like it, though. Let me see. It ain't bad. 
The cannon. He said it, baby. Okay, nah, it's alright. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> alright, we're gonna use that. We're gonna upload that one. Dude said, he coming on my video. Said, that's not a dragon, that's a fish. I'm already don't think this shit funny. Like, he talking about my snake crush. I said, whatever your imagination tells you, say hello to my Loch Ness monster. He can then comments, I'm not a fish. <laughs> At this point, we do a cigar talk like once a week. <laughs> oh, shoot. this up anymore to the music. I don't know. We'll see. I say that now, but when I hear it and say it with the music, we'll see.
It's tough. I like it. I love it. I don't care. Hey bro, what in the world? Where is it? What am I doing? That changed your side. Okay, something happened. We gotta go to the overlays. Watch every time, so let's keep going. Cause the overlay is kind of kind of messed up for some reason. <laughs> and I might move this. Yeah, I don't know. Something happened with the overlays. I don't know what I did. supposed to be over here. That was like perfect. <laughs> that was like perfect. Again, we're uploading this, we're exporting this. 2K, 4K. Let me watch it one more time. Aspect ratio needs to be for that. <laughs> Let's go. Export this in 4K. 
Let's go. <laughs> no, nah, I'm gonna post it to the YouTube first. But we gonna see what happens. We gonna see what happens first. That ain't hard, bro. That shit ain't hard, bro. <laughs> Male supermodel. So let's post that real quick. We need to come here and we're gonna use the description from here. Just add most of the heavy in this stuff. We're gonna go with the video. We're gonna upload this one. Let's see if I have <clears throat> male supermodel fashion designer. Male supermodel fashion designer. <laughs> Collection of some. Uh, my fashion edits. Playlist is going to go in male supermodel fashion designer. Well, we before I edit before I add it to all the playlists, we need to make sure it can sit. Public, private, um, um, uh, it's uploaded. Okay, we gotta close it. It just glitched out. <laughs>
Because it's going to go in a couple playlists. It's going to go into a couple playlists. So we're just going to let it sit for a couple minutes and see what happens. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Quick bathroom break. Let's see how it's doing, let's see how it's doing, let's see And... We're good. We're good. So, let's go ahead and share this, Jane. Share video. Copy link. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bro. Yesterday I was so happy because I was not sneezing, bro. I was not sneezing. Somebody said, expecting a man to leave 
and you don't listen is insane. I said, what Kodak say? I did a little baby who will listen. Shoot. Shoot. Whatever. Male supermodel. Basically got it, bro. This is luck. So I'm thinking about now, nah, bro. I'm just bored, so a real life might just say it to the But then the cigar shot. Just kick it. And then you know what I'm saying? And if I if I pick up on some more information. I mean uh, also this, right? When we talk about the one joint with the experiment and the this and the third. Every time I've been there, bro, I, it's, it's been nothing but good vibes. Like, I've been there plenty of times and somebody just gave me, like, somebody bought me a cigar or somebody something. So, I can just go there today and say, hey, I got a new book. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Somebody, just anything. Okay, I, I got some notifications from Threads, apparently. We just know, we didn't know that. Okay, yeah, and we need to go ahead and... No, pardon me. Okay. No. We might go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, let me just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me just go to the cigar shop here. Um, kick it, listen to the drums. Uh, I might pop, but I probably, what I'm thinking about, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna keep going to go up there. Let's ride this bike. Again, the bike just gonna make it a little bit quicker, bro. The bike gonna make it a little bit quicker. But, I go up there, go up there, kick it, uh, show them my new book, you know what I'm saying. And now, the people be asking me, like, how much it costs. And, so that's another little thing. Like, so this one right here, I'm definitely not giving away. Um, but I'd be like, why well, can't 
how, how much can I say, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? I really, no, nah, because it's things, right? You can sit here and name a price, and there are certain people who are going to pay that price. And because it's different, it's different like stuff. Like, I could tell, I could, I could, like, yo, buy me two cigars, you know what I'm saying, bro? No, 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 no. I actually. Uh, nah, it's like right now I had the books to sell, technically, right? Like all this is on Amazon. I gotta, oh my gosh, bro. I'm gonna take this off. And I I need to get, like, it, this how this how I plan on kind of doing one thing too, bro. I kind of plan on getting to a spot where it's like, I buy a, a set copy of my books, and this is gonna be crazy too. This People think I'm playing. But when they get to the part, when I'm, I get, I'm serious, bro. Right now, I got six books. <laughs> right now, I got six books. <laughs> right? When it when the time comes, bro, I'm going to buy a set number copy of, my, of each one of my books. Like, I'm talking about the hardbacks and, and the paperbacks. I'm going to buy a set, copy, a set number copy of each one of my books, right? <laughs> And then I'm gonna change the cover for all my books to plain colors. Now I also wanted to write one more book, so it's a couple of things that's gonna have to happen. It's gonna go kind of go like this. So I write the seventh book, and and my I want my seventh book to be about me getting a new car, preferably a Lamborghini. <laughs> Or a soft top white Jeep Wrangler. Get the car. Or a Tesla Roadster. A red Tesla. I'll do the red Tesla Roadster. So, my seventh book. I want my seventh book to be about. I want my seventh book to be about getting a black Lamborghini, a white soft top, a white soft top Jeep Wrangler, and or <laughs> a red Tesla Roadster Collector's Edition. All of them. Or. The black Lamborghini, okay, all right. So, that right. <laughs> so how, how does this happen? I don't know. This is how I want this thing to go, so. I want to get the black Lamborghini, soft top white Jeep Wrangler, or red Tesla Rosa Collector's Edition. Buy a set number copy of each one of my books. Maybe like, I don't know. Because everything can't come with me. I'm going to start packing this joint up. I'm going to start packing the Lamborghini, the Jeep, or the, the, the Rose. I'm going to start packing it up. Now, if I got the Jeep, the soft top Jeep right now, I could put everything in there. I'd be good to go. I can just, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got what you want. But preferably each one of my books. Um, the number coming to my mind is like 10. The, the number coming to my mind. So I have about 10 copies of each of my books, right? And after that, I would change the cover for each of my books. <sighs> Come on, bro. If the cover... If... Oh, fuck. I, bro. <sighs> if the cover... <laughs> Bro, if I got this Lamborghini, these are thoughts coming to my mind. If I got this Lamborghini, right? If I got this black Lamborghini, it's going to be a picture. This could be the cover. This could be the cover of the Lamborghini. Of the, uh, the seventh book might be called Lamborghini. <laughs> Okay, let me just stick with this idea right there, because it's making me laugh, bro. Like, 
that's why I, that's why I be thinking about the joint so much because this this is something that's live. So <laughs> my picture is right because this is what coming to my mind. It is like the more ideas that come to my mind. Remember we had the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, and Ace of Wands. Okay, so picture a black book, and on the cover of this black book is me standing next to my black Lamborghini. <laughs> It's gonna be a family picture. It's gonna be me. I'm, I'm gonna get a, uh, you know me too. Yeah, I, I think I know you. If you know me, you know I, I want a white Doberman puppy. So if it was up to me, you will see a picture of me, the white Doberman puppy, Bailey, and a bino snake. And yeah, so two snakes, uh, two dogs, and a black Lamborghini. And me in front of and, and me, me right and me um, so all of us posted up in front of the uh, Lamborghini that's gonna be the cover the front cover <laughs> the back cover is gonna be a different angle so another picture of the Lamborghini from a different angle um Maybe, maybe the back view and uh, just from a different angle. So if you got this this front side view, maybe I have a back side view. Hold on. Hold please. Oh my gosh. So this side. This, this. <laughs> so. The covers of the book. Ooh, I gotta make sure I do this right too. I gotta make sure I do this right too. But it's gonna be one side. Okay. Cause you know the suicide doors, you know, the doors that come up. What? If. If it's uh yeah, bro, like this is wild, but so it's just gonna be you gonna see with like right side of the like okay, front right side of the car, left right side of the car. Mm-hmm. Then front left right front front right side of the car, front left side of the car. And so we open the book up. It's like that. You're gonna see front right side. I'm gonna be on both sides. I'm gonna take a picture on this side of the Lamborghini. I'm gonna take a picture on this side of the Lamborghini. But when you open the book up, you're gonna see the right side of the Lamborghini and the, and the left side. And how you gonna know the different sides? I'm gonna paint on both sides. I'm gonna that's so crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray paint something on both sides of the Lamborghini so it's like one so you know which one's the left side, which one's the right side. <laughs> You know, one side I might put like a little a, a red, and the other side I might put a yellow, or some a gold, gold, gold. Not yellow, really gold. Black, red, and gold. Yeah, so do that, right? And then uh, 335, it's 235. Okay, so after that, I will do um, what's the inside of the book gonna be about? Of course, I'm gonna talk about the story leading up to it, how I got it, how it back, you know, second, second, third, probably what I'm gonna do after. Like, okay, so yeah, here's this book, and I'm publishing it now, and I'll just like update the pages. Maybe don't don't update it. Well, I possibly could later. Well, I'll say, well, this is when I first got the Lamborghini. Now, um, I might update it again when I get to like a new country or a new stop and say, hey, I finally made it to this location. And I just might update the book again. So my seventh book is going to be called Black Lamborghini. Now that I'm, I'm going to write eight books because I want 
the reason I was going to do seven books is so I can change each of my books to a color of the rainbow, but with the black Lamborghini, <laughs> and it's black, that's the black book, the little black book. Hmm. I think I'm going to do that one, which will be fine. Um, so, how do we want to go about it from there? We want to have... Well, I, what I want to write in the book, well, that's why I don't know about yet, but like I just said, whatever happens, me getting it, the, the, the moments and the time around me getting it, will probably go into the book. The date, of course. And it would be a good day to get a little bit easy. It was so crazy, you know, how, like, my, my sixth book came after all the delays in which we call it, my sixth book finally came on 222, so 2122. I saw 21222 on the timer, but my sixth book came on yesterday, which was the Eclipse Day, so, I mean, every season, I mean, we, we've been turned up, we've been turned up this whole every season, bro. I got my sixth book. I launched a graffiti jungle. What is this? Um, I launched a graffiti jungle. I did the pop-ups. You know what I'm saying? The edits and doing what it do. We've been going all the way up over everything, bro. So, um, yeah, bro. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but it might rain today. I need y'all to know what this even rains today. That's going to sway this walk. Cause I will if like if it's raining, I I don't want to ride my bike in the rain. <laughs> I would like I would make the same trip. I'd rather make the same trip walking in the rain, but not biking in the rain. Because you, you know if you ride like you get in wetter faster, and it's just good. Should not wear glasses. It's too much. It's too much. Too much. <laughs> but because the last color was technically I guess indigo and violet are two are. So I'm not gonna do an indigo and a violet, right? Cause you already got blue. Roy G, Biv, blue indigo and violet, blue indigo and violet. Okay, so yeah, I'm I still stick with the seven books, but the last one's gonna be black. Um, cause we're gonna go red, orange, yellow, green, blue. We're gonna skip indigo, and we're just gonna go to violet, purple. So the sixth book will turn purple, and then. Ninja Turtle, Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, and then the last one will be Black. The Black Lamborghini. The Black Lamborghini book. Now, if I kind of move past the things I've already done, right? So, my sixth book, you saw, I said we can pretend this page is a comic book. So, we did a comic book, we did, we've done puzzles. Um, we've done mazes, we've done connect the dots, we've done hangman, we've done um, a planner, we done did so much of this stuff, so. Oh, no. We're going to have to turn to people, so, because the last one I was about to say is a pop-up book, but how could you publish a pop-up book? Now, that would actually be a challenge. Publishing a pop-up book. So, technically what we kind of do is uh, have it so that you got to cut out the pages or something. Or make certain cutouts or folds. No, but it ain't, that's not a legit pop-up book, man. Mm. Mm. I've done a short story. I did a short story in my sixth book. Um, long story, kind of, sort of. Okay, it be a chapter book. We can write chapters. No, what chapter? What, it's my seventh book, so my seventh book only is going to have seven chapters. It's gonna, it's my seventh book is going to have seven chapters. <laughs> no. How? Okay, so my seventh book will be a chapter book. You know what the cover gonna look like? It's me and the family. My, me and my pets. When I say family, I mean pets. Me and my pets. In front of the Lamborghini. On both sides. Now. How 
We didn't want the, the, the chapters of the book to be about. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know, I just got this color book. And my, this one looks really good in color. So technically what I would probably even do is, I would. <sighs> So <laughs> right, I'm done, yeah. I'm done. I'm done after this book. This is my seventh book. My seventh book. Is gonna have Okay, so my seven book will have seven chapters. Each chapter is going to have 11 pages, so the book will be 77 pages. And each page is going to have a picture of the Lamborghini. So, you know, front, right, left, back. Um, uh, and then we'll take pictures, you know, of the steering wheel. I'm gonna take pictures of the dashboard. I'm gonna take pictures. I'm gonna take pictures in each one of the seats. So I'm gonna take a picture of the seat. I'm take a picture of me in the seat. Like each picture is just gonna be just like that. Um, I write a couple of poems and freestyles, whatever comes in my thoughts and minds. Like my first initial reaction to the Lamborghini. Like so, this is my first time seeing it. This is my first initial reaction. Um, how it feels to be in it. You know what I'm saying? What it feels like to finally have it. So, I do something like that, bro. That jump would be so. Seven foot, 77 pages, seven chapters, 11 pages per chapter. And it, there's no real order to it. It's just going to be after I write 11 pages, the next chapter needs to start reading. <laughs> Page 12, chapter 2. It doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't, or I, I could rearrange it, but we'll see. But yeah, all 77 pages, bro. Um, 77 pages, 7 book, 7, seven chapters, yeah. 77 pages. And I mean, with something like that, I technically could, you know what I'm saying, it could have 7 poems, um, it could have 7, just different stuff, you know what I'm saying, really just different stuff. Um, it really just depends. I'll probably even take a Polaroid. Um, I said I was going to stop, but it just went crazy. Like if I took, if it was filled with 77 Polaroid pictures, so my seventh book could be 77 Polaroid pictures. Or it could just have seven Polaroids. Seven Polaroid pictures. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy, man. Yeah, 